Chapter 2181 A Specialist in Killing Wildly Arrogant People with Just One Hand Holding Evil Moon Long Chen was able to stop Zeman Xiangsheng. No matter how Zeman Xiangsheng tried, he was unable to shake Long Chen. To block the supreme genius of an everlasting family with just one hand, was that not wildly arrogant? Long Chen smiled coldly. His voice resounded throughout the battlefield. The true wildly arrogant people here are all of you. You're so arrogant as to believe that whatever you say is an imperial decree, that whatever you say is true, that anyone who goes against you deserves death, that all others must bow to you, that even if you farted, others would have to cheer and say it smelled amazing. What is wild arrogance? This is wild arrogance. You don't care about right or wrong, true or false. For personal profit, you can ignore the truth and attack me. Ignoring the value of other people's lives, trampling over other people's dignity Long Chen's voice resounded through the air. Although he usually ignored how others vilified him, that didn't mean that he didn't get angry. He was human and he had feelings. Hence, now his fury was erupting. So, I'm not the one who's wildly arrogant, it's all of you. It's not as if you're not allowed to be arrogant, but remember this, don't be arrogant in front of me because you aren't qualified. I am a specialist in killing wildly arrogant people. Boom. Long Chen's divine ring suddenly appeared behind him. Zeman Xiangsheng felt a terrifying burst of energy, and he was sent flying. Scram. Long Chen's saber slashed behind him, blocking a lightning halberd. A wild burst of power unfurled, and Kun Pengzi was sent flying. What? Kun Pengzi was sent flying? Has Long Chen gotten so much stronger in this short time? Startled cries rang out. It was understandable that Dong Fang Yuyang and Zeman Xiangsheng had been blocked. They hadn't summoned their manifestations, because as people with status, they were unwilling to be the first ones to unleash their full power when Long Chen was clearly holding back. However, just now, Kun Pengzi hadn't cared about such things and had summoned his Kunpeng manifestation. But even with his lightning halberd, he had been sent flying. Before this, even with Mo Nian and Long Chen joining hands, they had been unable to keep Kun Pengzi behind. However, now Kun Pengzi was instantly forced back. Long Chen's divine ring caused the world to tremble. A faint blue color had appeared within the originally five colored divine ring. Although it was still very faint, it truly made it so that this was no longer a five colored divine ring, but a six colored divine ring. The six colored divine ring filled heaven and earth. A will that looked down on the nine heavens appeared, a will that shook countless experts. Just when did this little brat get so powerful? demanded Ku Jinying, shocked and delighted. He, our heaven splitting battle sects children can't be weak. Ah, of course there was also the contribution of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, hastily added the old man. Li Xiangsuan merely smiled. This is all Long Chen's own efforts. It doesn't have much to do with the Zhuanshan Dao sect your way of nurturing him was much more important. Of everyone present, only Li Xiangsuan knew Long Chen's secrets. If heaven defiers didn't have the power to defy the heavens, then they wouldn't be heaven defiers. What Li Xiangsuan said was the truth. In truth, the actual help that the Zhuanshan Dao sect had given Long Chen wasn't much. The main thing was that the Zhuanshan Dao sect didn't have anything that Long Chen needed. In comparison, the heaven-splitting battle sect's nine forms of split the heavens had been much more beneficial. Due to not having anything Long Chen needed, all Li Xiangsuan had been able to give Long Chen was his freedom. He was free to do what he wanted with their full support. Li Xiangsuan's humility made it so that the old man was too embarrassed to be too pleased. On the other hand, Boss Bao and the others were cheering loudly. Kun Pengzi's expression changed. It had only been a month. How had Long Chen's power risen by so much? Kunpeng Voidbreaker, Raging Lightning Slash, Kun Pengzi roared. The Kunpeng within his manifestation spread its wings, and endless lightning exploded, entering his halberd. He once more attacked Long Chen. Last time, I couldn't do anything to you because I didn't have the power of a divine item. I could only use my own power to block your divine item. Today, Evil Moon is awake and I'm no longer fighting alone. Do you think you can still show off? Long Chen had no intention of dodging Kun Pengzi's full force attack. The void rumbled as a giant black saber image tore into the sky. 
Boom. The saber image crashed down like a river of stars, blasting apart the field of lightning around Kun Pengzi and striking his halberd. This time, blood dripped out of Kun Pengzi's mouth as he was once more sent flying. What power. Little brother, you're pretty handsome too. Let's see if you can receive an attack from me. A coarse woman's voice rang out. A black shooting star shot through the air. Shu Aluacha was also joining in, and she held a giant meteor hammer in her hand. Spikes grew out of the hammer head. Long Chen once more swung Evil Moon, but he was startled to find that this meteor hammer was incredibly heavy, as if it was made of a star. He was forced back several steps before stabilizing. Oh, how amazing. You are actually able to block my shadow meteor hammer. You should know that this hammer was my father's and was created by plucking astral metal from outside the world. For someone with such a small and weak looking body, you have quite some power. Little brother, what do you think about marrying me? Shu Aluacha smiled brightly at Long Chen, revealing her bloody mouth. Her smile did not improve her looks. I think you should find Mo Nian for that instead. His taste is heavier, said Long Chen, a chill running down his spine at the thought. Mo Nian cursed Long Chen in the crowd to express his innocence. Little brother, are you laughing at me for being fat? Shu Aluacha looked at Long Chen resentfully. No, not fat. Wide, corrected Long Chen. Fine, don't blame me for being ruthless and smashing you to bits. Shu Aluacha's expression instantly changed, and the meteor hammer flew through the air at Long Chen. Shu Aluacha's power was truly terrifying. The meteor hammer caused the void to explode wherever it passed. Shu Aluacha is the result of the Blood Emperor's blood mixing with the demon race. Not only has she inherited the Blood Emperor's power, but she also has the body of a demonic beast. Apparently, the fatter she is, the greater her power. It is said that no one in this world is capable of receiving her attack with just pure power, said one expert. Shu Aluacha was a true monster. A monster that could no longer be called human. Boom. Evil Moon hacked down like a bolt of lightning. Without any flashiness, Long Chen blocked Shu Aluacha's blow. Lightning flashed beneath his feet, and he appeared right next to Shu Aluacha, slashing his saber at her jaw. Normally, this attack would be aimed at his opponent's neck, but Shu Aluacha didn't have a neck, so he just estimated. How vicious. You actually want to cut off my neck. Shu Aluacha let out a strange cry. It sounded like she was trying to sound like a cute damsel in distress. She raised her fleshy arm to block Evil Moon. Evil Moon actually bounced off. At some point, a protective bracelet had appeared on her wrist, and Long Chen's attack had landed on it. Unexpectedly, it was also a priceless treasure. Long Chen's expression didn't change. He sent a kick to her face. At such close range. Her giant hammer was ineffective. Shu Aluacha blocked with her arms. Hence, Long Chen's kick landed on her flesh. He felt like he had landed on cotton, and a portion of his power dissipated. However, Shu Aluacha was still forced to step back, giving her a chance to counterattack. But Long Chen appeared behind her, slashing with his saber. Shu Aluacha didn't look back. She pulled on her meteor hammer and was dragged forward by its weight avoiding Long Chen's attack. Although Shu Aluacha looked plump like a meat mountain, her movements were very agile. Despite that, Long Chen's rapid movements didn't give her a chance to unleash her power. Are you competing in a martial tournament? Why waste everyone's time? Tian Zizi suddenly took out a giant tower that shattered the sky. It smashed down toward Long Chen. Be suppressed. Chapter 2182 Bone Tower Prison The Corrupt God Ancient Tower Hu Jinying's expression changed. That was a famous weapon of the corrupt path. She was worried Long Chen would not be able to hold out against it. No need to worry. That evil moon in Long Chen's hands is very powerful as well, said the old man. When the corrupt god ancient tower appeared, the hearts of the martial heaven alliance's experts clenched. They also felt endless hatred. Who knew just how many of the heroic spirits of the righteous path had been sucked into the corrupt god ancient tower over all these years. Those heroic spirits had been their ancestors. Their souls had been sucked away and were now used like slaves. This was the corrupt weapon that the righteous path hated the most. Even Shu Aluacha was caught in the range of the corrupt god ancient tower. However, the only one it locked onto was Long Chen. 
Light enveloped Long Chen, sealing the space around him and separating it from the rest of the world. Xu Aluacha immediately exited that light, leaving only Long Chen within it. Be suppressed. Tian Zizi let out a shout. The corrupt god ancient tower crashed down on Long Chen. Long Chen's movements were 10,000 times slower than normal within this light. He was unable to escape it. Get in. Everything went very smoothly, but Tian Zizi didn't overthink it. After all, this was the weapon of the first generation corrupt god. Once Long Chen was sucked in, the only way he would be leaving was as a puppet. Light flashed. Suddenly, Long Chen's figure appeared within the bone tower. Hu Jianying cried out. Quick, the martial heaven virtue tablet. It's too late. But don't worry, don't you see how calm Long Chen is? The old man stopped Hu Jianying. Only then did Hu Jianying notice that Long Chen didn't appear nervous at all within the corrupt god ancient tower. He, he did it on purpose. It seems so. The old man also wasn't sure. Long Chen's guts were too big. The corrupt god ancient tower repeatedly flashed. Long Chen was originally on the bottom level, but after several flashes, he appeared on the top level. When he appeared on the top level, the corrupt god ancient tower compressed, and people were able to see that it was imprisoning Long Chen on it. Everyone's gazes were focused on Long Chen. The Martial Heaven Alliance's people were worried. While the neutral experts only felt pity, the corrupt god ancient tower was famous. Anyone who entered wouldn't be able to leave alive. No one throughout all its history had escaped from it. Only the people who wished to see Long Chen die cheered, as if Long Chen's death was a blessing to them. The sad thing was that the people cheering weren't from the corrupt path. They weren't from the Xuan beasts or the ancient races either. Instead, they were coming from the righteous experts who had betrayed the Martial Heaven Alliance. Long Chen smiled. From the corrupt god ancient tower, he saw those people cheering. You cheering fellows, just how many of you truly want me to die? Those people instantly fell silent. They couldn't look at Long Chen. His contributions toward the righteous path were clear. Others could cheer, but they couldn't. Long Chen indifferently smiled. You don't actually want me to die. You just want to express your loyalty to Pill Valley. To tell the truth, I don't hate you. I feel like you're very pitiable. You don't even know why you cultivate. You've not only lost a cultivator's dignity, but you've lost what it takes to be human. However, just because you're pitiable doesn't mean I can forgive betrayal. This is my last time advising you to use your heads. Think about why you want to live and why you cultivate. Shut up. Tian Zizi cut him off. You're already facing death, but you're still in the mood to advise others? Long Chen, to tell the truth, you're too stupid. The corrupt god ancient tower was personally created by the first generation corrupt god with his own bones. There are millions and millions of souls imprisoned inside. Now it's even stronger than during the era of the first generation corrupt god. No matter what trump cards you have, they'll all be useless. You will die, your soul will be refined, and all your power will be absorbed by the corrupt god ancient tower. Is Long Chen really in trouble? asked one of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrows. They were all getting uneasy with how confident Tian Zizi was. What a joke. Who do you think my boss is? This bone tower can't imprison him. Guo Ran was even more confident than Tian Zizi though. In his heart, Long Chen was unrivaled. Not even a god could defeat him. Just as everyone was looking at him, Long Chen said, It looks like we're both very confident. Then let's see whose confidence is more correct. Long Chen stabbed Evil Moon down into the bone tower, causing it to shudder. No need. You'll definitely be the one to die. Corrupt God summons. 10,000 ghosts come to life. Tian Zizi formed hand seals, causing the bone tower to activate. One giant skull after another appeared, ghost fire burning within them. They flew at Long Chen from every level. Their wails were like needles stabbing into people's ears. This is a spiritual attack, the life-seizing ghost whale. It's one of the corrupt path's paragon arts that directly attack people's yuan spirits, shouted one of the righteous path's elders through the wailing. Most terrifying of all was the thought that the wailing was coming from inside the tower. Long Chen had to be facing ten times what they were. Even a third-step nether passage expert would have their yuan spirit crumble in the face of that. It was no wonder Tian Zizi was so confident. The wailing continued endlessly. 
The skulls wailed as they charged at Long Chen. When they got close, they exploded, unleashing immense power. What explosive power? It's almost equivalent to a full-strength attack from a third-step nether passage expert. The physical body is being attacked along with the soul. That's a death sentence. Everyone was personally witnessing the power of the divine item created by the first-generation corrupt god. No wonder no one had survived it. Long Chen, show me how long you can last, sneered Tian Zizi. Long Chen was surrounded by lighting. His saber was still stabbed into the floor below him. He was like a boulder, unmoving in the face of the wailing and explosions of the skulls. Everyone saw that Long Chen was managing to endure, but no matter what, his power was limited. There was no way he could compare to the vast stores of energy that the corrupt god ancient tower had accumulated over countless years. How long can I last? I suppose two or three years should be no problem, said Long Chen lazily, his voice passing through the wailing. HMPH, your mouth's still tough. First, try to last more than an incense stick's worth of time, said Tian Zizi, completely confident. The corrupt god ancient tower began to unleash more skulls, their auras even stronger than before. The people outside were no longer able to endure it. They activated the defenses of their divine items. Some people even set up formations to isolate themselves. I already told you, two or three years would be no problem, but my time is precious, so I don't want to waste so much of it. Be careful, I'm going to break your tower. Long Chen's voice once more rang out. Boom. The bone tower suddenly shook, and a majestic dragon cry rang out. Two black dragons appeared around the bone tower, binding it. Those two black dragons emitted an evil aura. They clenched the bone tower so hard that it creaked. Is that, the dark evil dragon of the era of legends, the most sinister of all the evil dragon races, the dark evil dragon race that lives to slaughter and consume lives. Some people recognized the two dragons from ancient carvings of times long past. Thinking of those legends, they were shocked. How could something from the era of legends appear now? No, it's not a true physical body. It's condensed from spiritual strength, cried someone. There was no bloodline pressure present with those two dragons. Tian Zizi, release Long Chen. He definitely has some sinister move up his sleeve. Zi Wenchen's expression suddenly changed. Tian Zizi was also getting a bad feeling. He formed hand seals, trying to expel Long Chen, only to find that he couldn't with the two black dragons binding the bone tower. Boom. The bone tower suddenly returned to its giant form. From within, Long Chen's laughter rang out. I was waiting just for this. Evil Moon, it's up to you. Chapters 2183 Eight forms into one The corrupt god ancient tower was forced into its original giant size. A black pillar of light shot out of its roof. All of a sudden, the sky turned dark. Black Chi filled the world, and a sinister howl grew louder. Black Chi continued to spurt out of the corrupt god ancient tower. Meanwhile, Long Chen kept a tight hold on Evil Moon even as it stabbed into the bone tower. It was like it had taken root. It's easier to invite the devil in than to kick the devil away. Do you think that I, Long Chen, and someone you can suck in and expel as you please. The two black dragons binding the bone tower grew larger with the bone tower. Their immense power was crushing it. He, my luck really is good. I get such a feast as soon as I wake up. Long Chen, you have some skill. Evil Moon chortled delightedly. Countless black roots shot out of Evil Moon, spreading throughout the bone tower, crazily absorbing the bone tower's energy. The corrupt god ancient tower was a corrupt weapon used for slaughter. It was quite similar to Evil Moon. Although their power didn't come from the same source, Evil Moon was able to transform that energy. To it, this energy was a mouth-watering piece of meat. As soon as the corrupt god ancient tower had appeared, Evil Moon had asked Long Chen to think of a way to enter. As a result, they really had easily entered. No, Tian Zizi's expression changed. He could sense Evil Moon absorbing the corrupt god ancient tower's essence. He would never have dreamed that Long Chen was capable of such a thing. Tian Zizi roared. Get out. Tian Zizi's manifestation appeared behind him, and a figure manifested within it. It was like a god, bringing with it a god's pressure. Tian Zizi had summoned his own heaven's soul manifestation. That huge figure was just as tall as the bone tower. 
It stretched out its arms and rested its hands on the tower. The bone tower rumbled, and the two dragon figures binding it exploded. Damn, what powerful god energy. No, I want to eat more, shouted Evil Moon. Ten thousand black chains shot out of Evil Moon, piercing through all the levels and absorbing energy. Long Chen's hold on Evil Moon was starting to grow tumultuous, but he still refused to let go. Zi Wentian took action. A black hand flew into Tian Zizi's manifestation. He was sending his own power to Tian Zizi. Attack together. However, Tian Zizi found that even so, he was unable to force Long Chen out. Hundreds of thousands of corrupt experts gathered their energy and sent it into the corrupt god ancient tower. They prostrated themselves, chanting something. With the full support of the corrupt path, the corrupt god ancient tower lit up. Evil Moon was no longer able to endure it and was sent shooting out. Evil Moon and Long Chen shot out the roof. The chains that had shot out of Evil Moon now had fragments of the bone tower stuck to them like roots with soil still stuck to them. Has there been some mistake? Even like this, you can't kill it, raged Long Chen. He had thought that Evil Moon would be able to directly destroy the corrupt god ancient tower, but now he found that it was just bragging once more. As always, Evil Moon was not dependable. Are you joking? I've been refined into a weapon. My power depends on your power. If I still had my physical body, these ants would have been devoured by one gulp from me. But you refuse to use your full power. So just relying on myself, being able to do so much is not bad. He, don't get mad. Let me tell you, that corrupt god ancient tower really was something good. I got away with almost half its core energy and I feel even stronger. It won't be able to pose any threat to you any longer, laughed Evil Moon. As they flew through the air, the chains vanished, sucked into Evil Moon. Long Chen raised it, split the heavens eight, boom. The giant bone tower was badly damaged by this attack from Long Chen. Having had its energy sucked away, its defensive power had dropped dramatically. Countless bits and pieces of it flew through the air. The corrupt god ancient tower shrank back down and flew into Tian Zizi's palm. There was a long scar on it now. Tian Zizi let out a heaven-shaking roar. Long Chen, you deserve 10,000 deaths. Tian Zizi put the bone tower away. It was temporarily unable to fight. Its injury was an insult to the entire corrupt path. Tian Zizi took out a soul summoning banner. Black arrows shot out of it. Every arrow had sinister runes within it howling like devils. Long Chen slashed Evil Moon again, blowing apart the arrows. But those runes within them continued to fly toward him like spider webs. This is the corrupt god's curse. Several of the senior righteous experts recognized those runes. They had once encountered such curse runes when fighting the corrupt path. Once those runes infected your body, then it didn't matter what your cultivation base was. You would feel like insects were devouring your Yuan spirit. The pain was indescribable. It was said that this technique contained the corrupt god's resentment. It contained a god's will. So it wasn't something a mortal could block. Once their will was suppressed, the curse would erupt. It was said that every one of these curse runes was refined from the soul essence of an expert. They were tortured before death, and their hatred and resentment were contained within the runes. Curses? Children's play. Lightning exploded out of Long Chen's body, containing immense destructive power. His divine lightning made those curses vanish silently. This is heavenly punishment lightning. Long Chen is actually able to control tribulation lightning? Furthermore. Its aura is the same as the dragonization tribulation he had to go through. Could it be? Last time, Long Chen had gone through his tribulation at Heavenly Fate Island. His terrifying dragonization tribulation had left a deep impression on people. It was called history's strongest heavenly tribulation. People instantly thought of the dragonization tribulation when they sensed this lightning. People had already guessed that Long Chen possessed the heaven-defying ability to absorb heavenly tribulation lightning for his own use. Heavenly tribulation was condensed from the will of the heavenly deos. It represented the highest law of the world. As for some curse runes, they were nothing. Seeing that Tian Zizi was suppressed by Long Chen, Dong Fang Yuyang shot over, stabbing his spear through Long Chen's lightning domain. The silver shield in Dong Fang Yuyang's left hand unleashed a wave of silver that forced back Long Chen's lightning. Long Chen blocked Dong Fang Yuyang with his saber. 
pants, the two of their weapons locked together. They were only a few feet from each other. Why not use your true ability? Are you afraid of exposing your status? Long Chen's gaze was as sharp as a falcon. That would depend on whether you have the ability Dong Fang Yuyang didn't speak, instantly transmitting a spiritual message. The shield in his left hand bashed toward Long Chen's head. All right, then I'll beat out your true self. Long Chen snorted and pushed Evil Moon, dodging Dong Fang Yuyang's shield attack. He then attacked once more, not giving Dong Fang Yuyang any breathing room. Dong Fang Yuyang retreated and Long Chen advanced. Long Chen slashed his saber once more. This time, his attack contained the leftover power of his previous strike, increasing its power. Dong Fang Yuyang was forced back again. Dong Fang Yuyang suddenly had a bad feeling. Long Chen was using a chain technique, with each attack adding the power of the previous attacks. His attack was growing stronger. Dong Fang Yuyang wanted to interrupt the chain, but Long Chen didn't give him the chance. His saber came slashing toward Dong Fang Yuyang again. This is. Bao Buping and the others saw it clearly. This chain attack was clearly split the heavens. The first form, the second form, the third form. Ha ha ha. This little fellow is a genius madman. He doesn't just dare to think of crazy things. He also dares to do them. Laughed the old man. Old man, can his body endure that kind of energy superposition asked Boss Bao. This kind of technique was definitely crazy. The cultivation world did have techniques that allowed one's power to superimpose like this, but the maximum was three layers. Any more was meaningless. Three was the peak. If it was possible to add power beyond that, then it would mean that the first attack was so weak that it was meaningless. Reaching the peak in three blows perfectly accorded with the tempo of the heavenly deos. But even then, that was only suited to certain magical arts and battle skills. It did not suit the nine forms of split the heavens. The nine forms of split the heavens required activating certain acupuncture points. The first form required nine acupuncture points, while the second form required 18. That meant reactivating the first nine acupuncture points. The first nine acupuncture points would already be full of spiritual yuan before the second attack came. So there was no way people could survive the superimposition of all the nine forms. The acupuncture points would explode. A three-layer superimposition was impossible. But Long Chen had already reached his fifth attack, and the power was continuing to overlay. Although others might not be able to tell, those familiar with the nine forms of split the heavens like the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples could tell just how crazy Long Chen's current actions were. The old man said, Actually, the ninth form of split the heavens involves combining the nine forms into one. Impossible. Isn't that suicide? exclaimed Boss Bao. That's why we need the assistance of the heaven splitting divine tablet. Without it, the heaven splitting battle sect is like a toothless, clawless tiger, said the old man, becoming gloomy. The heaven splitting divine tablet had yet to recover. Just at this moment, a giant saber image appeared in the sky. Even the chi flow in the sky was blasted away. It was possible to see the stars in the sky quivering. He, he actually did it. Boss Bao and the others jaws dropped. Chapter 2184 Settling Grudges A giant saber tore into the sky and slashed down. Although Dong Fang Yuyang had done his best to stop Long Chen from accumulating power, this attack was still unleashed. This saber caused heaven and earth to change color. Dong Fang Yuyang was completely locked down. The space around him had been frozen by divine power. Either counterattack or die, sneered Long Chen. You truly are very powerful, but you're far from enough to kill me, said Dong Fang Yuyang with a cold smile. Suddenly, a giant ancient castle appeared in front of Dong Fang Yuyang. The Dong Fang family's war castle, the astral ancient castle. This ancient castle was where the gathering of past and present heroes had been held. It was a war fort, capable of both offense and defense. It was a super treasure amongst divine items. Boom. Divine light flowed out of the castle, and stars flickered within the light. As a result, Long Chen was forced back, almost spitting blood, while the ancient castle smashed into the ground, leaving a giant ditch. He even sent such a giant and heavy divine item flying. Just how powerful is that saber in Long Chen's hands? 
all those with any comprehension of how powerful the astral ancient castle was were stunned. This little fellow only seems to get more amazing. Rushuang, I'm being serious. If you still don't make a move, it'll be too late. The Bidang family's master transmitted a message to Bidang Rushuang who was within a stream of qi flow. She was playing matchmaker between Long Chen and Bidang Rushuang. What's so amazing about him? I'm not inferior to anyone. And I won't depend on anyone either. You want to marry me off? Bidang Rushuang directly rolled her eyes at her grandma. She had her own pride. It was impossible for her to share a man with others. Although that was what she said. Long Chen's current display of power had truly shocked her. Heaven and earth shook as the qi flow streams began to grow gentle once more. The third eruption is about to start. This is the final eruption. Everyone, you must use this chance to charge through your bottlenecks and advance as much as possible. An expert from the senior generation gave the disciples a reminder. The third eruption was the most important one. This was the best moment to break through their shackles and push their realms as high as possible. It was also the moment that all these heavenly geniuses were waiting for. Advancing within the chi flow stream had no limits. All bottlenecks became loose and easy to break through. Furthermore, no matter how many levels you advanced, with the chi flow supporting you, there wouldn't be the slightest sign of your foundation growing unstable, nor could you be bedeviled. Attack together to kill everyone within the largest chi flow stream and occupy it. Otherwise, it'll be too late. A fierce light appeared in Dong Fang Yuyang's eyes. The ancient castle hovered above his head, sprinkling divine light around him. The others hadn't expected Long Chen to be so powerful. If this continued, they would waste their chance to absorb Qi Flow. That wasn't worth it. Ignore Long Chen. Let's kill the Dragonblood Legion, the Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow Race, and Mo Gate's disciples. Kun Pengzi agreed. Wasting time on Long Chen wasn't worth it. It was better to kill the others. They couldn't let just Long Chen stop them. Kill. Following Kun Pengzi, the disciples of the Xuan beasts charged over to the Dragonblood Legion. Cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. You traitors are finally about to face your fate. Come out and face your deaths. Shouted Huang Fian. At the same time, the giant Shu Aluacha charged over with her meteor hammer. While Di Feng shouted, leading the ancient family alliance's disciples into an attack, Tian Zizi waved his soul summoning banner, and the corrupt god ancient tower appeared above his head once more. Although it was injured, it could assist him. After that, he sent the corrupt path's army charging forward. The ancient race's disciples followed the Xuan beasts, keeping close behind their butts as they charged. Brother Zeman, what are you still hesitating for? The competition of the heavenly deos will not allow you to pass your responsibilities to others. Long Chen is trying to destroy the continent. What are you waiting for? Shouted Dong Fang Yuyang to Zeman Shiangsheng upon seeing him conflicted. Zeman Shiangsheng had come alone. He had not brought the people of the Zeman family into this unclear fight. They were in a qi flow stream. Hearing what Dong Fang Yuyang said, Zeman Shiangsheng shouted at Long Chen. Long Chen. Answer me. Are you colluding with the original devil race to destroy the martial heaven continent? Don't you have your own brain? Responded Long Chen. How was he supposed to answer this question? Yes, he was colluding with the original devil race, but he had never thought about destroying the martial heaven alliance. The matter of the original devil race had not been resolved yet, so he didn't want to talk about it. Since every person had their own brain, they could decide the truth for themselves. If he did try to explain, then Dong Fang Yuyang would immediately retort. There were more mouths on their side. So Long Chen had Zeman Shiangsheng make his own decision. You don't even dare to respond directly. As expected, you really are colluding with the original devil race. Then don't blame me for being vicious. Zeman Shiangsheng waved his hand. Tens of thousands of disciples from the Zeman family charged over. Master, what do we do? Asked Ji Lingxian. There were millions of experts charging toward the Dragonblood Legion now. The million disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance were also tense. They were just waiting for the order. This showed the immense foundation of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Despite almost half the sects betraying the Martial Heaven Alliance, they still had over a million elite life star disciples. 
If those sects had not betrayed them, then the Martial Heaven Alliance would have at least half the continent's talented disciples. Alliance head, we're all prepared. We just need your order, shouted one disciple. The disciples who were still standing on the side of the Martial Heaven Alliance were all loyal and fearless, willing to fight alongside Long Chen. Brothers, thank you. My Dragonblood Legion temporarily doesn't need your help, but when we do, we will definitely call for you. The Dragonblood Legion tightened its formation, forming a circular arc. The disciples of the Mo family were present with arrows knocked. Meanwhile, the heaven splitting battle sect's disciples were holding their broadswords, cool and indifferent in the face of the giant army before them. He, these are the men of the heaven splitting battle sect. Seeing the expressions on his disciples' faces, the old man smiled. For the first time, he felt that these children had finally become real men. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrows had also set up a tight formation that corresponded with the Dragonblood Legion's current formation. Seeing their enemies getting closer, they began to accumulate energy. Long Chen stood in the sky and seemed to be ignoring the armies of the Xuan beasts. Corrupt path, ancient races, ancient family alliance, Dongfang family, and the Zeman family. The only ones that Long Chen blocked were the experts of Pill Valley. More accurately, he was blocking the Pill Fairy. The Pill Fairy was leading tens of thousands of Pill Valley's disciples. She stared coldly at Long Chen, a water-like flame gradually growing out of her. Long Chen didn't look at the pill fairy. He stared at a beautiful young lady behind the pill fairy. He still remembered her. Do you want to greet your big brother San? Asked Long Chen, smiling slightly. Big brother San, you still remember Wan Ching? The young lady's voice trembled. Tears fell from her eyes. Long Chen smiled and walked forward. Pill Valley's disciples raised their weapons and summoned their manifestations. On full alert, Long Chen walked right past the Pill Fairy. He didn't look at her, and the Pill Fairy didn't move. He walked right up to Wan Ching. You've gotten taller and bigger. You've gotten more beautiful as well. But you still haven't gotten rid of this crying habit of yours. Have you run into any difficulty in alchemy? Long Chen gently wiped away her tears. That action was the same as when they had first met. Big Brother San, Wan Ching suddenly hugged Long Chen and began to truly cry. Why? Why is it like this? You two were so good together, accompanying me. I never felt so blessed. Why have you ended up as enemies? Why can't I change anything? Why? Wan King's tears burst forth as she wept. In her heart, Long Chen and Pill Fairy were a natural pair, but now they were mortal enemies. Because of this, her heart felt like it was being torn in two. She was filled with grief and fear that swamped her other emotions. The army of the various large powers had surrounded Long Chen. They had all found their own attack angles. The atmosphere was tense. With just one person's orders, a full force assault would be launched. However, they were surprisingly quiet. There was only the low sound of the chi flow streams and the heart-wrenching cry of Wan Qing. Big Brother San, please, can't you all stop fighting? If I see any one of you die, I would rather die myself. Her crying showed her desire for peace, for a simple life, a life without slaughter, without fighting. But everyone knew that was just a beautiful dream, impossible to realize. Long Chen sighed and gently patted her back. A stream of energy then flowed from him, making her faint. After that, he waved his hand, sending her floating to the elders from Pill Valley. He had used his own special method to seal her spiritual strength. It would take at least a day for her to awake. Long Chen finally turned to the pill fairy, walking in front of her. There's no need for extra words. Today, let's have a battle to the death to settle all our grudges. Chapter 2185 Cloud against Huang Fi I and do you hate me? I can see hatred in your eyes. The pill fairy's eyes flickered as she looked at Long Chen. Yes, I've begun to hate you. You shouldn't have brought Wan Qing into this. You've lost your kindness. You shouldn't make everyone as cold as you, said Long Chen. Long Chen was angry that Wan Qing had been made to weep. Her pain, her helplessness, they stabbed deeply into his heart. People can prevent feeling lost and in pain by following the direction of the god. It's better for her to feel some pain now than feel pain forever. Everything will get back on track after that pain. Bullshit, sneered Long Chen. 
Brahma and fallen Danite are two idiots. Just from the fact that they could become gods, I can tell that the so-called gods are just dog shit. There is no absolute right or wrong in this world that can be used to judge things. The only thing you can use to judge right and wrong is your own heart. Blasphemers of the gods must die. The pill fairy's flames exploded out of her, filling the air with such heat that it felt like the void would combust. After that, the Brahma divine diagram appeared, covering up the sky. It's bigoted. Ignorant people like you that must die. Evil Moon appeared in Long Chen's hands. Brahma's will. Divine Diagram destroys the heavens. The Pill Fairy formed hand seals that caused divine light to shine down from the Brahma Divine Diagram. Enveloping Long Chen and the Pill Fairy, the two of them became translucent, as if the two of them were in a different world. Others could see them, but they couldn't sense their auras. Boom. Within the world of the Brahma Divine Diagram. Long Chen slashed his saber, a white sword had appeared in the pill fairy's hands, and she blocked Long Chen's attack, water droplets flew on impact, those droplets then exploded, transforming into thousands of ripples, every ripple contained terrifying power, but within this special space, they didn't cause any damage, the two of them repeatedly clashed, and flames exploded against each other, a flame dragon roared behind Long Chen while a flame phoenix let out a brilliant cry behind the pill fairy. One dragon and one phoenix repeatedly clashed, unleashing endless flames. The flame that the two of them controlled was identical. The two of them didn't even need to move as their flames clashed. After just a moment, it was no longer possible to see the two of them in the midst of the flames. Attack, as the pill fairy and Long Chen fought within the Brahma Divine Diagram. Dongfang Yuyang was the first to break the silence. The other experts attacked alongside him. Just as Dongfang Yuyang attacked, a whip composed of thousands of thin willow branches attacked him. They were a mix of black and white, looking extremely strange. Dongfang Yuyang's expression changed as soon as he sensed that whip. He raised the shield in his left hand. With a loud boom, Dongfang Yuyang was sent flying, his arm shaking and blood leaking out of his mouth. He felt like his organs had flipped inside him. Dongfang Yuyang was extremely shocked. That whip had contained death energy capable of invading his body through his shield. Suddenly, the void exploded and a towering willow appeared, spreading from the earth to high in the sky. Countless leaves stabbed toward Dongfang Yuyang. Dongfang Yuyang hastily summoned his manifestation. His spear danced in the air, blasting apart the branches. However, their immense power still made his arm numb. An undying willow. Dongfang Yuyang was truly worthy of being a disciple of an everlasting family. He instantly recognized Lu Ruyan's origins. But after recognizing it, he was even more shocked. An endless torrent of willow leaves followed Dongfang Yuyang into the midst of the Dongfang family's disciples. Injuring everyone struck. They furiously counterattacked. Retreat. Don't block them. Shouted Dongfang Yuyang. However, it was too late. Thousands of the Dongfang family's disciples had started fighting against the undying willow's leaves. However, they quickly realized something was wrong. The people beside them were starting to rapidly age. Some were already turning white-haired, wrinkles covering their face. Its attacks contained death energy. Without a heaven soul manifestation, your lifespan will be stolen. Dodge, shouted Dongfang Yuyang. His shield suddenly grew much larger, and he smashed it into Lu Ruyan. Boom. Lu Ruyan's giant body shook from the impact of the shield, and the Dongfang family's disciples fled rapidly. As a result of this short fight, their mighty army looked like it was one foot in the grave. It had all happened in the blink of an eye. Die. Facing such a setback right at the start, Dongfang Yuyang furiously summoned the astral ancient castle, smashing it into Lu Ruyan. Undying, inextinguishable, heavenly Tao of sublime life, Lu Ruyan's emotionless voice rang out. As soon as it did, the giant branches transformed into a huge net that blocked the ancient castle. Even that giant castle wasn't strong enough in front of Lu Ruyan. The ancient castle rapidly spun, blasting apart the branches, but more branches grew rapidly to block it. Let's see how long you can last, shouted Dongfang Yuyang. Wanting to exhaust Lu Ruyan, through the willow branches, Lu Ruyan's true body sneered. Her roots were in the ground, constantly replenishing energy. 
Even her leaves were absorbing energy from the air. Here, in the location of the Qi flow eruption, there was plenty of energy to absorb. As long as the Qi flow eruption continued, she had limitless power. She could last as long as she wanted. But she wasn't fond of speaking, so she didn't say anything. Long Chen had only asked her to stop Dong Fang Yuyang. As for the rest, she didn't need to bother with anything. She had now easily done so. Lu Ruyan had stopped Dong Fang Yuyang, and the others were also clashing. Yu Zifeng faced Kun Pengzi, unleashing rays of beautiful sword chi. Kun Pengzi's manifestation was at full power, and he was fighting from a distance with lightning attacks from his halberd. After slaying Jian Wachen, Yu Zifeng's fame had almost surpassed Long Chen's. He was claimed to be the most terrifying existence within the Dragonblood Legion aside from Long Chen. Even Kun Pengzi had to be careful against Yu Zifeng. He was afraid of Yu Zifeng finding a single opening and slaying him. The offensive power of sword cultivators was just too terrifying. Even Kun Pengzi felt that he was in danger of dying if Yu Zifeng had a single opening. Kun Pengzi was locked down by Yu Zifeng. As for Huang Fian, she directly pounced on the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrows. She was planning on slaughtering all of them on the outer edges. Huang Fian summoned her true body, and a nine heavens divine phoenix appeared. The runes on her feathers lit up, beautiful divine light shining out of them. It was like golden sand was sparkling in the sky, spreading her wings. She announced, cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race, I will exterminate you today. Watch out. Kun Pengzi suddenly let out a startled cry. A giant figure had silently appeared above Huang Fian's head. After that, a pair of sharp claws stabbed down into Huang Fian's back. The sneak attacker was Cloud. She had been hidden in the sky thanks to using one of Xia Chen's formations and was to be used as a trump card. However, as soon as Huang Fian came out, Cloud couldn't endure it. Thinking of how Huang Fian had brought people to kill her fellow cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrows, her killing intent exploded. Thanks to the formation hiding her, Huang Fian sensed her too late. She only looked up when she heard Kun Pengzi's shout. Before she could even see what it was, intense pain racked her back. Cloud's claws pulled and blood splashed. One of her beautiful wings was torn off. Your nine heavens divine phoenix race should go straight to hell. Cloud ground her teeth. Huang Fian tried to struggle, but Cloud pulled again, and Huang Fian's other wing was torn off. Huang Fian's miserable cry resounded through the air. Kun Pengzi wanted to go save Huang Fian, but then a cold ray of sword chi brushed right past his neck. The distraction had almost taken his life, covering him in a cold sweat. He knew that Huang Fian was doomed now. No one could save her. Cloud's claws continued to tear into Huang Fian's back. Her own divine power completely suppressed Huang Fian's. With one claw, she raked away a large chunk of Huang Fian's flesh. The other Xuan beasts tried to charge over, but Gu Yang appeared, killing one after another. They were unable to reach Cloud. The Dragonblood Legion's Gu Yang is present. If you have gods, then come. Gu Yang shouted, the aura of his dragon blood suddenly erupting out of him. He summoned his dragon blood battle armor, slaughtering enemies with his blood-colored spear. No. Huang Fian let out one final cry as Cloud opened her mouth and shot out a black sword that stabbed straight through Huang Fian's head. Chapter 2186 A Chaotic Battle Begins Huang Fian's head soared into the air, and her vitality rapidly faded. Her final shout still hung in the air. Cloud let out a resounding bird cry a cry of hatred and released humiliation. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race had been humiliated for so many years. With Huang Fian's blood, they had started up their path for vengeance. The void suddenly exploded as a giant nine heavens divine phoenix appeared, its claws reaching toward cloud. It was the leader of the nine heavens divine phoenix race. Seeing their strongest genius be killed, he went crazy. Since he wasn't able to save Huang Fian, now all his hatred was cast onto Cloud. This Nine Heavens Divine Phoenix had lived for countless years. His very core was igniting as he went all out against Cloud. Cloud, don't face him directly shouted Meng Chi. This Nine Heavens Divine Phoenix was too powerful. There was no meaning in facing him directly. 
Seeing Cloud directly fly back within the Chi Flow Stream, the Nine Heavens Divine Phoenix roared. The Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow races a pack of inferior cowards. You don't even have the courage to fight. Cloud's anger soared once more and her wings spread. She would fight for the honor of the Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow race. The leader of the Nine Heavens Divine Phoenix race was delighted to see this. All his feathers suddenly emitted streams of divine light. He was igniting his own essence blood and longevity to unleash an all-out attack to kill Cloud. However, just as his divine ability was brewing, a blood-colored arrow pierced his eye. Blood rained down, and he let out a miserable shriek. Everyone's gazes first turned toward Mo Nyan, only to see him raise his hands innocently. It wasn't me. I swept through the four seas, crossed a thousand mountains, caused huge billows in heaven and earth. With one arrow, the cosmos shakes. If you need a peerless divine archer, you can come find Guo Ran. In the future, I'll thank everyone for calling me the divine archer Guo Ran. Guo Ran waved a greeting to the attacking army. He was standing so conspicuously like he was worried others might not see him. That smile on his face was as arrogant as possible and he held a large blood-colored crossbow. Before others could react, Cloud activated a divine ability, using her wings as sharp swords that slashed through the leader of the Nine Heavens Divine Phoenix race. He was instantly killed. That leader was truly unlucky. His full power divine ability was interrupted midway, causing the power he had accumulated to grow chaotic and almost explode. He had barely managed to suppress that power and stop himself from exploding when Cloud's attack arrived. Cloud, come back, called Meng Chi, worried about further provocations. On the other hand, the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrows cheered. Guo Ran began to shoot his crossbow repeatedly, every time causing the head of a Xuan beast to explode. People weren't even able to see his arrows before they struck. His arrows were so fast that even spiritual strength was unable to grasp them. Hiding and secretly shooting people is shameless. Is the entire Dragonblood Legion like this? Zeman Shiangsheng furiously charged into the Qi Flow stream, attacking Guo Ran. Shai Lingfeng is missing an eye, so it's understandable that he's blind. But are you also blind? Can you not see this giant crossbow of mine? How can it be called hiding and shooting secretly? Mocked Guo Ran. A ray of light shot out at Zeman Shiangsheng from his crossbow. Insignificant. You can't do anything to me. Zeman Shiangsheng didn't even seem to pay attention to it. As if knowing the future, he swung his saber, shattering the arrow. Guo Ran wanted to shoot again, but Zeman Shiangsheng had arrived in front of him. Hence, Guo Ran could only put away his crossbow and pull out his dual blades. Then let me experience the amazing abilities of the everlasting families. I want to see if they're as amazing as the legends say, said Guo Ran. The metal feathers on his wings transformed, becoming a hardened carapace around his wings. From the back, he looked like a beetle, and that beetle shell looked exceptionally tough. Boom. Guo Ran's saber met Zeman Shiangsheng's, and Zeman Shiangsheng was surprised to find that his saber was actually blocked. He had activated his manifestation and was not holding back, but he was unable to suppress Guo Ran in terms of power. He, are you surprised? I'll tell you, this is another state of my armor, one with the power runes activated. The reason I retreated before was to give the spotlight to my boss, otherwise, he'd get mad at me. But did you really think I only had that little bit of ability? If I was so weak. How could I sit in the position of general of the entire Dragonblood Legion? Little fellow, you're too naive. The runes on Guo Ran's wings grew brighter. Following that, the light flowed into his arms and then his sabers. Today, I'll show you the power of the Martial Heaven Continent's number one battle armor. Try to survive my tempest of attacks. Guo Ran began to repeatedly slash his sabers, his arms spinning like wheels, unleashing dozens of attacks in the blink of an eye. What kind of crap is this? Guo Ran's figure was no longer visible. All that was visible was repeated saber images. Guo Ran was like a tireless machine with his repeated attacks. Zeman Shiangsheng, a supreme genius, a survivor of countless battles, had never seen such a thing. He was repeatedly forced back. The current Guo Ran was like a hedgehog. And worst of all, this hedgehog's quills were constantly spinning around it. For a moment. 
Zeman Shi Angshan didn't know how to counterattack. Li Qi, let's go handle Shi Lingfeng. Song Mingyuan saw Shi Lingfeng charging over. He and Li Qi went over. Shi Lingfeng's head had been cut off by Long Chen, but the stone race was blessed by the heavens. He had reconnected to his body and didn't look like he had even been injured. However, since he had lost a great deal of his core energy, his aura had dropped. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan were both earth cultivators whose power came from the same source as Shi Lingfeng. They had previously managed to fight against him, and now they did the same, stopping him in his tracks. Shu Aluacha, last time we couldn't determine a winner, this time we should settle things. Mo Nian flew out to face Shu Aluacha, HMPH. Back then, you were nothing more than a bandit for my blood emperor family. Do you think you're fit to fight against me? Shu Aluacha no longer maintained her fake cute voice facing Mo Nian. If you want to provoke me, there's no need to use words. Just your face is enough. I wonder, with the blood emperor being as thin as a stick of bamboo, did he copulate with a pig to end up having you? Mocked Mo Nian. Die. Shu Aluacha's fleshy body quivered as she attacked with her meteor hammer. If a pig like you hasn't died, why would I die? Sneered Mo Nian. Boom. Mo Nian's bow quivered. An arrow shot out, but before it reached Shu Aluacha, it exploded. This was an exploding arrow not used for harming enemies. Just as it exploded, a silent arrow shot through its midst at Shu Aluacha's neck. Shu Aluacha seemed to have a great understanding of Mo Nian's techniques and was prepared. She raised her arm, blocking the arrow. Can you not fight like a man? Sneered Shu Aluacha. Can you not look like a woman? Responded Mo Nian. Eighteen consecutive arrows rained down. Shu Aluacha and Mo Nian both had a certain understanding of each other's techniques. They had previously fought each other, with one being the chaser and one being the runner. Mo Nian was a long-range fighter, so the battle between the two of them was the most senseless. Back in the heaven-splitting battle sect, if Tu Kian Chang had not arrived and joined forces with him, there would have been no way for him to heavily injure her. Now, once again, they fell into a battle of attrition. Sharp wails broke through the clamor of the battle to strike people's souls. Tian Zizi had come, waving his soul summoning banner. Black Chi swirled out of the corrupt god ancient tower above him, as he also charged into the Chi flow stream. I'll handle him, said Tang Wanur, but she was stopped by Meng Chi. Perhaps your power isn't inferior to his, but you don't have a suitable divine item. You can't handle the corrupt path's top divine weapon. Tang Wanur's power had grown explosively, but wind attribute divine materials had been almost used up on the martial heaven continent. Tang Wanur was missing a true divine item that suited her. Even Guo Ran hadn't been able to forge something that suited her during this time. But if she had a suitable weapon, she wouldn't need to fear anyone. Let me. Yi Zhikyu walked forward. Zhikyu, how about we go together? Probed Chu Yao. No need. My master is watching. I will give her a satisfactory display to let her be at ease, said Yi Zhikyu. She walked out of the crowd gracefully. A ripple passed through the air with every step like she was walking on water. These ripples then froze, becoming ice lotuses. Once she took her next step, the ice lotuses shattered. Yi Zhikyu looked to be walking slowly but appeared in front of Tian Zizi in an instant. Without any words, her sword slashed down. Ice Chi froze space turning the surrounding world into a world of ice. In the distance, Daoist Heavenly Feather smiled. She has finally obtained its acknowledgement. Chapter 2187 Dragon Blood Manifestation Intimidate Seeing Yi's Hikyu come to stop him. Tian Zizi's heart shook. He felt a great sense of unease from Yi's Hikyu's eye sword. The soul summoning banner trembled, and figures shrieking loudly shot out, leaving long tails attached to the banner. Yi's Hikyu ignored these curses. Her sword continued to swing, unleashing snow and ice through the air. It was beautiful and frigid. Those soul curses froze solid and then exploded, transforming into snow mist. Even souls can be frozen. Tian Zizi's expression changed. There was nowhere for him to run. He sent the corrupt god ancient tower smashing toward Yi's Hikyu. Boom. The ice sword slashed into the bone tower. The corrupt god ancient tower was instantly frozen, becoming an ice tower. Tian Zizi then slammed his hands on the tower, 
forcibly blasting away the ice covering it. The corrupt god Ancient Tower managed to escape the ice seal, but Tian Zizi turned ashen. He was now covered in frost and spat out a breath of cold air that instantly turned into ice outside his body. What terrifying ice chi all the experts present were stunned. How could Yi's Hikyu's ice chi be so powerful? Even a divine item on the level of the corrupt god Ancient Tower could be frozen by it. Tian Zizi waved the soul summoning banner once more, and iron hooks came flying out of it, attached to chains. They were like the tails of scorpions. The figure within Tian Zizi's manifestation shook. After that, light flowed out of the corrupt god Ancient Tower, enveloping him. He then charged into Yi's Hikyu's ice domain. A bit of ice energy is nothing in front of divine energy. Tian Zizi sneered, the energy from his manifestation and the corrupt god ancient tower forming a layer around him that protected him from Yi's Hikyu's ice chi. The countless hooks from the soul summoning banner were blocked by Yi's Hikyu's sword. With every clash, those hooks and chains were frozen solid, but then the corrupt god ancient tower would unleash a wave of light to unfreeze them. Hundreds of hooks flew about, one side freezing them and one side unfreezing them. Snow and ice danced around them. Dazzling the people watching, that bastard Long Chen, if he hadn't injured the corrupt god Ancient Tower, how could this woman be able to block me? Tian Zizi was filled with hatred. There were several times he was forced back by Yi's Hikyu. Everyone else, slaughter the Dragonblood Legion. Tian Zizi ordered the other corrupt disciples to attack the Dragonblood Legion. Kill. The corrupt path's army charged in. Millions of people from the corrupt path. The ancient races. The Ancient Family Alliance, the Stone Race, the Xuan Beasts, the Dongfang Family, and the Zeman Family collapsed upon the Dragonblood Legion. Everyone else's heart clenched. This was a battle of an unprecedented scale. It wasn't just to fight over the Qi flow but also to exterminate their enemies. Warriors of the Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow Race, our chance for vengeance has finally come. We will use their blood to wipe away the humiliation of being bullied for tens of thousands of years. Cloud's cry resonated with the others. They all roared and summoned their true bodies, attacking the incoming Xuan beasts. Black light swords shot out of their mouths, shooting through the army of Xuan beasts. The Xuan beasts were prepared and counterattacked with their own divine abilities. But as a result, their divine abilities were shattered by those light swords. They simply weren't a match for them. Having awakened their ancestral divine abilities, the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race had regained their former power, which had been enough to stand amongst the top of the Xuan beasts. Even before the two sides crashed together, many of the Xuan beasts were slain. Their huge corpses exploded, filling the air with a bloody scent. How did the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race become so powerful? The seniors of the Xuan beasts stared in shock. This time. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race was even stronger than the last time. The myriad spirit diagram. We must obtain it. Pen Wanli's expression was gloomy. He eyed Meng Chi. The reason the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race could become so powerful was because of her. The myriad spirit diagram was a priceless treasure. Enough to drive the Xuan beasts crazy. In the beginning. The Xuan beasts had only felt that the myriad spirit diagram might contain a portion of their divine abilities. Although that was very valuable, it wasn't enough to make them go crazy for it. However, as time passed, they realized they had been mistaken. The myriad spirit diagram didn't just contain a portion of their divine abilities. It contained all their divine abilities, including ones that had been lost for countless years. When he thought of that, Pen Wanli was filled with endless regret. If they had taken this matter seriously back in the day, paying any price to obtain the myriad spirit diagram, the Xuan beasts might have become the rulers of this world. Now, under Cloud's lead, the disciples of the Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow race slaughtered their enemies. Even in the face of the Xuan beasts that outnumbered them by dozens of times, they were fearless. This was the result of hatred that had been accumulated for countless years. This kind of hatred could only be washed away with fresh blood. Cloud was the fiercest, drawing the attention of the strongest geniuses of the Xuan beasts. Her wings were like blades, while her claws were like lightning. With each attack, a powerful Xuan beast was slain. In just a short while, 
She was covered in blood. Cloud suddenly let out a long cry. The other disciples of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race echoed her cry. Their voices resounded through the air. Kill. Cloud. All on her own. Charged forward. She drew the majority of the attacks. The others followed her, forming a triangular formation that Xia Chen had given them based on their bodies, speed, power, and divine abilities. For a race of Xuan beasts to use a formation to attack was the first in history. Cloud was at the front, the arrowhead of the formation, with her drawing the majority of attention. The pressure on the others behind her dropped. She led the charge, and as the arrowhead, they were like a giant arrow piercing through the army of Xuan beasts. Their power was extremely terrifying. However, there were too many Xuan beasts. They numbered 800,000, while the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrows numbered only 10,000. These cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrows were the elites of the elites. This had been decided after discussing it carefully. Originally, they could have sent out 30,000 disciples, but these 10,000 people were the strongest, and if there were too many people, their inferior cooperation could affect their total combat power. There was another more important reason as to why they had only brought 10,000. That was that both Cloud and Long Chen did not want to see large casualties. Cloud especially had seen too many members of her race die. If she saw more, she might go crazy and ruin certain plans. So in the end, they had sent 10,000 elites. And those elites did not disappoint K. Yuzhu and the other seniors. With Cloud leading them, they showed the power of the Cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race, wiping away years of humiliation. Thinking of all that the Cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race had suffered over the years, K. Yuzhu's eyes began to glisten with tears. Ancestors, do you see this? The Cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race is finally soaring. We are finally starting to wash away our humiliation. K. Yuzhu clenched her fists. At that moment, she felt that even if she were to die right now, she could face her ancestors. The battle between the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race and the Xuan beasts was extremely intense. But an even more intense battle was fought on the ground. The dragon blood legion was wielding swords, their manifestations active behind them. They stunned all the experts on the battlefield. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Over 12,000 warriors had identical manifestations that did not conform with the heavenly deos. Throughout countless years, there could not be two identical awakened manifestations at a time. This was common sense, as well as an iron law. However, the dragonblood warriors had splendidly broken this law. Their manifestations were the same. It was a manifestation of an endless mountain range with a blood-colored dragon roaring amongst the mountains. No, some of them are different. There really was someone who refused to believe what he saw, and comparing them all one by one, he made a new discovery. Look, most of them have manifestations with mountains of stone with nothing growing, but for some of the women, they also have the blood-colored dragons and the mountain range, but their mountains are covered in greenery and giant forests full of life. It's true. Eh, aren't they the healing warriors of the dragon blood legion? Someone else recognized those healing warriors who were mostly women. Those healing warriors rarely participated in the killing. They were standing at the core, healing people in the first instant they needed it. If someone faced a curse, they would immediately expel that curse. Or if that was impossible, they would draw the curse into their own bodies. Due to the overflowing life energy within them, they could resist the curses. They were responsible for maintaining the complete combat power of the Dragonblood Legion. The Dragonblood Warriors had started fighting the powerful enemies of the various powers. Flesh and blood flew through the air. The sight of this shook the leaders of these various powers. Chapter 2188 Sea Demon Race The roaring of giant dragons resounded through the air. The manifestations of over 12,000 Dragonblood Warriors resonated with each other. Upon unleashing a stroke of their swords. A wave of sword chi slashed through their enemies. Having summoned their dragon blood battle armor, the dragon blood warriors were terrifyingly powerful. The first wave of incoming experts was the strongest. Some of them were able to endure the wave of sword chi. Some were not and were blown away. As a result, when the second wave struck, without those top experts taking it, the people behind them turned green. 
some of them didn't even have a chance to run and were directly killed by the second wave of sword chi. The rest were still reeling from the first attack and didn't manage to recover in time for the second. However, when the third wave came, their expressions changed. Fuck, it's that technique that Long Chen just used. Those experts thought of how Long Chen had combined the power of the first eight forms of split the heavens until he managed to send the Dongfang family's precious treasure flying. Now they saw that the Dragon Blood Warriors' attacks were the same. Every wave was more terrifying than the last. The third wave was the strongest. Ten thousand streaks of sword chi merged into one, becoming a powerful wave that made the experts at the front regret charging forward. Now they didn't even have a chance to run. They could only go all out. With the Dragon Blood Legion at the center, a circular wave of sword chi annihilated tens of thousands of experts. Within the attack range, only a few hundred isolated experts had been able to survive. Those were powerful supreme geniuses of the ancient era, but now they were horrified. The power of the Dragon Blood Legion had surpassed their expectations. They saw the problem now. The Dragon Blood Legion's manifestations were linked, allowing them to merge their power in their wave attacks. Although the power looked to be evenly distributed, many of the Dragon Blood warriors actually focused on them. If these attacks continued, they would be doomed. When the power of over 10,000 Dragon Blood warriors gathered together, it was truly terrifying. For a moment, those supreme geniuses didn't dare to advance. They were afraid of death, but they also didn't dare to retreat because they would be laughed at. They just stood there, not knowing what to do. The ground was dyed red by the fresh blood of these powerful experts. Those were no ordinary people but Empyreans with awakened manifestations. The leaders of the various powers were infuriated at this sight. Every powerful Empyrean cost a huge amount of resources to raise. What do we do? With how powerful the Dragonblood Legion is, if we just charge in, there will be massive casualties. It's not worth it, said Long Jun Kang, the leader of the ancient races. No one had expected over 10,000 people to awaken identical manifestations. Their power linked them into a killing formation with immense power. Palace Master Zhang, isn't it time for your Blood Kill Hall's disciples to make their move? Demanded Zi Wentian. The Blood Kill Hall had naturally come. There were over 3,000 elders standing there. Amongst all the factions that had come, they numbered the fewest. However, the Blood Kill Hall did not win through numbers. The intimidation factor of so many assassins was extremely great. These elders were all Nether Passage experts, and they were wearing cloaks that covered their faces. The Blood Kill Hall's master, Zhang Ziyang, indifferently said, The Blood Kill Hall's disciples will only make their move at the optimal time. Before that time, they won't. This is the iron law of assassins Zi Wentian snorted. Are you saying that we acted rashly resulting in our losses? Zi Wenchen's voice clearly contained a provoking tone. He was very dissatisfied with Zhang Ziyang's actions. I didn't say that. It seems that Master Zi is too sensitive. Zhang Ziyang shook his head. Don't act so indifferent as if this isn't your fault. You still haven't given an explanation as to why the Blood Kill Hall's people never showed up last time. Now that everyone else is attacking, not one of the Blood Kill Hall's disciples has appeared. Are you planning on hiding forever? shouted Zi Wentian. Zi Wentian was the most furious of these leaders. His original plan was for Tian Zizi to put on a powerful show and kill Long Chen, destroying the righteous path's morale. However, the corrupt god Ancient Tower had been heavily injured, while Tian Zizi was blocked by Yi's Hikyu. Now, even their combined armies were too frightened to advance in the face of the Dragonblood Legion. Tens of thousands of them were slain in just one attack. The last time that Zi Wentian was referring to was when the Pill Fairy had taken action to keep Long Chen in the end of the Heavens Valley. According to the agreement, the Blood Kill Hall was supposed to assist and make sure that Long Chen stayed behind. However, the Blood Kill Hall's divine daughter, Dong Mingyu, never appeared, and Long Chen ended up escaping. Now that this matter was brought up once more, everyone's gaze turned on Zhang Ziyang. He had to give an explanation. Zhang Ziyang smiled. The Divine Daughter is the disciple of the Killing God, while we are just the Killing God servants. How could I possibly manage the Divine Daughter's affairs? As for why she didn't attack at that time, I'm not qualified to ask. 
but I trust that the Divine Daughter has her own plans. So don't point your spears at me. We are only collaborating, and we are not required to follow your orders. Also, I don't like when people act big in front of me. You, Z Wenchen's fury rose to an even greater height. The two of you, now isn't the time to argue about that matter. It's already done, so don't bring it up again. The two of you are overlords of the Martial Heaven continent. Don't you think arguing here will make you laughing stocks? Let's focus on how to attack, interjected Yu Ziaoyan. May I ask if the Dongfang family and the Zeman family have any opinions? The Dongfang and Zeman families were not far. They could count as being on their side. How could I have any opinions? The Dongfang family has always stood aloof from worldly affairs. We are only forced to take action because Long Chen is attempting to topple the Martial Heaven continent. As for any plans or schemes, I'm sorry, but I don't have a mind for such things, said the Dongfang family's head. As for the head of the Zeman family, he didn't say anything. It seemed that he couldn't even bother associating with them. At this time, we can only ask the Blood Kill Hall's assassins to cause chaos in their interior and break their formation. That's the only way for the rest of us to charge in without huge casualties, said Zi Wentian coldly. That's not certain. If we seniors attack the elders of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, do you think the Dragonblood Legion will be content to just sit in there and watch? Said Zhang Ziyang lightly. Everyone's eyes brightened. They hadn't thought of that. Kei Yuzhu and the seniors of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race weren't far. If these people attacked them, the Dragonblood Legion and the disciples of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race would definitely come after them. Just as everyone was delighted by this idea, one person brought up a problem. If we attack them, won't the Martial Heaven Alliance also take action? At that time, we still won't be able to avoid a bloody battle HMPH. Leave it to the Xuan Beasts. Let's see what reason they have to block us. Pen Wanli sneered. If the Xuan Beasts attacked, that would simply be acting on the private enmity between the Xuan Beasts and the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. The Martial Heaven Alliance was an alliance of humans. They had no right to interfere. Pen Wanli raised his hand, about to give the order to attack. But before he could, intense rumbling rang out in the distance. The sound of crashing waves shook the world. Countless powerful auras approached. Everyone's expression changed. In the distance, an endless tide of figures surged over. That's the sea demon race. They really did come. Did they come to fight over the chi flow streams as well? People's voices shuddered. They were extremely uneasy at this sight. The sea demons had mostly transformed into human form. Some of them were in half-human, half-demon forms. Perhaps that was an expression of their status. Some of them had eight legs. Some had pincers for arms. Some had huge shells on their backs. And some were covered in sharp thorns. Behind those figures were giant sea snakes. Black tortoises giant crabs, mythical lobsters, all kinds of sea demons. An early estimate of their numbers put them past 10 million. Their auras were all extremely powerful. All the people fighting paused to look at these newcomers. One of the sea demons walked out and examined the surroundings. We won't make things hard on you. Get out of the strongest chi flow stream or face the consequences. Chapter 2189 Six Horn Sea Serpent The arrival of the sea demon race shook people's hearts. The previous movements of the sea demon race and their activity on the continent had made people guess that they might come for their own portion of the chi flow eruption. However, that was just a guess, because in the past, the sea demon race had never participated in the competition for the chi flow. That was because after the chi flow eruption, all the chi flow would disperse throughout the continent. It would be absorbed by the land and sea once more. The martial heaven sea ring was vast. Plenty of the chi flow would end up entering the sea. There was no need for them to participate in this. However, all the signs had indicated that this chi flow stream would be the greatest throughout history. So people had speculated that the sea demon race might come to fight over it. The Martial Heaven Sea Ring had always been a mysterious existence. There were countless legends about it. It was too big, too deep for people to investigate fully. People were curious but also afraid of it. Now, the sea demons had truly come, and with an army of millions at that, 
They had all reached the 11th rank. Based on their powerful auras, they had to be the sea demons with the strongest bloodlines amongst their race. Furthermore, none of their seniors had come. In other words, this army of sea demons possessed enough confidence to not worry about needing their seniors for protection. The Martial Heaven Continent's experts' hearts rose up into their throats. No wonder it was said that the sea demon race possessed the power to match the entire continent's life forms. This army before them made them believe it. These sea demons outnumbered all the geniuses of the Martial Heaven Continent here. Just their numbers intimidated everyone. Now it's troublesome. Hu Jinying and the others' expressions changed. These sea demons wanted Long Chen's strongest qi flow stream. The Martial Heaven Continent has never had any conflicts with the Martial Heaven Sea Ring. After so many years of peace, since you want it, you can take it. None of the people on our side has any opinions about it. However, some people might not give you this face. Whether or not you can take the strongest qi flow stream will be up to your own abilities. Yu Ziaoyan smiled at the speaker of the sea demon race. Bastard. He's getting someone else to do his dirty work. Hu Jinying gnashed his teeth. This move was clear to everyone. Guangguan. Xiangxuan. You are the people that Long Chen listens to the most. Can you advise him to leave his qi flow stream? They can come to our side. There's enough qi flow here for them to absorb. We don't need to fall for their scheme. If Long Chen refused to give up his qi flow stream, then the Dragonblood Legion would be facing the sea demon race that possessed the power to contend against the entire continent. Impossible. The old man and Li Xiangxuan shook their heads at the same time. I understand Long Chen. Even if he has to die, he won't give it up. Otherwise, he wouldn't be Long Chen, said the old man. Li Xiangxuan was of the same opinion. No one could change Long Chen's decisions. All they could do was watch. Lu Ruian, Yu Zifeng, Guo Ran, Yi Zhikyu, Mo Nian, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan returned to the Dragonblood Legion's side. Their opponents had retreated. Yu, seeing that Li Xiangxuan and the old man refused to even try to advise Long Chen, Hu Jinying shouted, Dragonblood Legion, as the head of the Martial Heaven Alliance, I order you to come here. Ha ha ha. So the Dragonblood Legion is full of cowards in the end. As soon as Hu Jinying said this, someone opened his mouth to mock the Dragonblood Legion and provoke them into staying behind. Even they can't act tough in front of true power. Ah, that person's final scream wasn't part of his provocation. It was because an arrow had struck him in the shoulder. That arrow's power wasn't very powerful, but now his entire body was turning black. Death energy spread throughout his body. The speaker was a traitor of the Martial Heaven Alliance. He hastily took out an antitoxin pill, but he could only bring it up to his mouth before his Yuan spirit dissipated. Guo Ran sneered. A full bottle doesn't make a sound, but a half full one splashes loudly. For people with half empty heads who talk loudly, I will send you on the path of reincarnation for free. The experts present couldn't help being afraid of Guo Ran. His crossbow was absolutely terrifying and it was like a life-reaping death god. No one wished to be his next target. Whatever toxin he had applied to his arrow, it was ridiculous. Even if someone did consume an antitoxin pill, they would probably still die. Furthermore, Guo Ran clearly had the ability to kill that person instantly with his attack, but he had instead used poison to make him suffer first. That viciousness gave others chills. Guo Ran turned to Ku Jinying. Alliance head. We naturally have to listen to you. Our boss also wouldn't dare to ignore your words. However, our boss is our chief. We cannot go against his words. Boss has said that today, we cannot submit to anyone. Even if the big boss of the heavens came, we have to beat him until he kneels. Hu Jinying was infuriated. Even at this time, he was in a mood to talk glibly. Long Chen was fighting the pill fairy in the Brahma Divine Diagram, with the raging flames over there. Long Chen had no idea what was happening outside. Just at that moment, two flame-wrapped figures appeared outside the Brahma Divine Diagram. The flame dragon behind Long Chen roared, while the phoenix behind the pill fairy shook its wings, raising the flames around it. Neither of their auras had dropped in the slightest. The pill fairy icily stared at Long Chen. There's no need for me to fight to the death with you right now. If you can survive today, we can settle our debts later. 
the pill fairy returned to her camp, leaving Long Chen to face the sea demon race alone. When the pill fairy returned to her side, she suddenly swayed, holding her head. King Xuan, are you injured? Yu Ziaoyan immediately went toward her. I'm fine. The pill fairy gave a cold reply before ignoring him. After forming hand seals, her divine mark on her forehead lit up. The divine halo behind her head brightened, and her pale face gradually recovered some color. Yu Ziaoyan looked at the pill fairy helplessly. Ever since Yu Kingsuan had received the god's inheritance, she had grown colder and colder to him, her father. There even seemed to be some kind of hatred. Back then, when he had forced Yu Kingsuan to receive the god's inheritance, she had begged him with tears in her eyes not to go through with it. But he had hardened his heart and activated the inheritance ceremony. Ever since that time, Yu Kingsuan had never called him father. The daughter that had always wanted to be beside him whenever there was a chance had grown cold to him. The distance between them grew greater and greater. Looking at her icy back, Yu Ziaoyan sighed and didn't say anything else. Everyone's focus was on Long Chen and the army of sea demons. The army of sea demons stretched beyond the horizon. The ones at the rear were like giant mountains. Seeing this army, people found it hard to breathe. The experts of the sea demon ray slowly walked forward. At their front was a tall and muscular man with six horns on his head. He had shoulder-length hair, and there was a natural iciness to his face. His physical body was so powerful that it felt like his blood chi was about to explode. Just a glance from him was enough to turn someone cold. That man walked over to Long Chen and looked at him coldly. I've heard of you. You are Long Chen. Correct? Bring your attendants away, or we'll kill you all pow. Long Chen's anger popped up before this man was even finished talking. His breath was disgusting, like rotting fish. Long Chen didn't even bother listening to what he was saying toward the end. He directly slapped him in the face. At this moment, Long Chen's divine ring was still present. So this slap contained immense power. The man from the sea demon race was sent flying and caught by the sea demons in the back. All the experts present, both friend and foe, were dumbfounded. Did Long Chen not even know who that person was? This slap was so resounding that it caused everyone's jaws to drop, including the old man's. Long Chen had even bigger guts than he did. Long Chen didn't deceive him. He had said that he wanted to go big and get his interest and capital back from the previous battle. Now it seemed that he had underestimated Long Chen's taste for vengeance. Was the sea demon race also within his calculations? I don't dislike arrogant people but I dislike people who are even more arrogant than me. If you have the gods, then why don't you try repeating what you just said? Said Long Chen disdainfully. The man from the sea demon race immediately roared. Kill them all. The man's manifestation appeared. Within it was a giant sea drake. It's the six-horned sea drake race. Seeing that giant sea drake, the senior experts immediately understood. This man came from the leading race of the sea demons. Although the experts of the Martial Heaven Continent didn't know much about the Sea Demon Race, they knew that the Sea Demon Race was under the leadership of the Six-Horned Sea Drake Race. While crossing the sea, upon encountering any Six-Horned Sea Drakes, you had to flee. If you fought, you would be surrounded by Sea Demons in an instant. Following the man from the Six-Horned Sea Drake Race, the other Sea Demons roared. The sky dimmed as the furious army of sea demons charged toward the Dragonblood Legion. Seeing how easily things fell into place, Yu Ziaoyan and the others smiled. They could peacefully watch as the Dragonblood Legion was destroyed. Chapter 2190 Undefeatable Disposition A bone trident tore through the void, bringing with it a fierce howl. The six-horned sea serpent man was the first to attack. Long Chen your blasphemy toward the six-horned sea serpent race will cause you and your human race to pay a huge price, said the six-horned sea serpent man. He was an extremely young king amongst the six-horned sea serpent race. He was the strongest expert from this generation of the sea demon race and had come here today to show the world the power of the sea demon race and make sure no one dared to fight them. Unexpectedly though, a little human not only refused to get out of his way but actually struck him. Although he didn't know the insulting nature of a slap in the face, just the fact that Long Chen had struck him was infuriating enough. Boom. Long Chen's saber slashed into the bone trident. The ground beneath their feet exploded. 
and a huge qi wave soared into the sky. Long Chen was forced back three steps. He was caught by surprise by how curiously powerful this sea serpent was. I'll say it again. Don't be a pig who only remembers feedings and not beatings. Listen to my words closely. If you want to live long, don't be arrogant in front of me. Pow. Long Chen's left hand swung through the air, slapping the sea serpent in the face once more. Last time, Long Chen's right hand had slapped the left side of his face, and now his left hand slapped the right side of his face. Balance was restored. The sea serpent went spinning through the air. Seeing the sea serpent man get slapped again, everyone's expressions changed, especially the people who had fought against Long Chen like Dong Fang Yuyang. The first slap had been too fast for them to see it clearly, but this time, they were prepared. This clearly ordinary slap had been refined into a divine art by Long Chen. Despite seeing it clearly, that sea serpent was unable to dodge it. The profundities behind Long Chen's slap had surpassed their understanding. It could even be said that it had reached the pinnacle of a Tao. The killing power of this move did not reside in the physical slap but the pain of the mind. Kun Pengzi's expression was the darkest of all. He had been slapped in the face by Long Chen as well, and now he couldn't put it out of his mind. These supreme geniuses would rather be struck several times with a blade than be slapped in the face. The sea serpent man let out a heaven-shaking roar. Although he didn't understand the humiliating aspect of a face slap, having fallen for it twice still caused his fury to soar. One of the horns on his head began to shine, and his aura leaped a whole level. Then a second horn also lit up. Four of his horns lit up one by one, his aura growing every time. It was like one seal after another was being undone within his body. A heart-clenching air rose out of the sea serpent. Seeing this, Long Chen didn't dare to tarry. He summoned the Azure Dragon battle armor, and a resounding dragon cry rang out. He shot toward the sea serpent. As the two of them repeatedly clashed in the air, the sea serpent suddenly roared. Bastard, how can you possess true dragon might? As soon as Long Chen had summoned the Azure Dragon battle armor, the six-horned sea serpent had immediately felt a spiritual and bloodline suppression. This Azure Dragon reverse scale came from the Martial Heaven Sea Ring. Did you not know of its existence? asked Long Chen curiously. So it was you who barged into the Forbidden Zone. The Sea Serpent came to a sudden realization. The Azure Dragon Reverse Scale had been in the sea for countless years. It had been noticed by the Sea Demon race many years ago, and the Six Horned Sea Serpent race had attempted to subdue it several times. However, they had been given a painful lesson as many of their top experts had their lives taken by the scale. Those who had dared to challenge the Azure Dragon Reverse Scale had been the strongest members of the Six Horned Sea Serpent race, the overlords of the Sea Demon race. However, 39 experts of that level had died. There was even one of the leaders of the Six Horned Sea Serpent race who had died to it before fully transmitting their abilities to the next, resulting in two divine abilities being lost. Having been given a painful lesson, the Six Horned Sea Serpent race had made the area around the Azure Dragon Reverse Scale a forbidden region. Even sea demons from other races did not dare to approach it. That place was a nightmare for them for many years. Now that Long Chen had summoned the Azure Dragon Reverse Scale, the Sea Serpent felt an immense pressure. Then hearing that it was the result of the Azure Dragon Reverse Scale, he almost exploded in rage. The Six Horn Sea Serpent race was the descendant of the Six Horn Water Dragon and the Heavenly Unicorn Sea Serpent. The Heavenly Unicorn Sea Serpent had been an ancient beast with a powerful bloodline, and after mating with the Six Horn Water Dragon, it had resulted in the Six Horn Sea Serpent race, a race inheriting the divine abilities of both those two races. As a result, they also had dragon blood flowing within them. Hence, this sea serpent felt an even greater suppression from Long Chen than the Xuan beasts. Damn you, I'll tear you to pieces, roared the sea serpent man. Thinking of how 39 of his race's peak experts had died in a vain attempt to subdue something that a human in the life star realm had subdued made him crazy. This was an absolute humiliation. Then work hard. With your current level of power, it'll be very hard for you to achieve your grand aspiration, said Long Chen repeatedly slashing evil moon. However, while Long Chen looked calm, he was shocked inside by how powerful this six-horned sea serpent was. Based on Long Chen's estimates, 
the bloodline suppression should make it so that the sea serpent man could only use a maximum of 80% of his power. But this 80% was enough for him to attack so strongly that Long Chen's arms tingled. The six-horned sea serpent man's true power was much greater than Kung Pengzi's and the others. As Long Chen fought his opponent, the dragon blood legion also started fighting the other sea demons. Brothers, the meat has come. Guo Ran laughed and repeatedly shot his crossbow. Every arrow exploded amongst the army of sea demons, shooting out countless spikes. Even the sea demons with their tough scales and plate armor were unable to block those sharp spikes. Blood flew everywhere. Some spikes went through five or six bodies before running out of power. He, Xia Chen is amazing. These piercing runes are monstrous. These were new arrows that Guo Ran had made, with Xia Chen applying special runes to them. They were made of the finest divine materials. Every arrow killed hundreds of sea demons. The satisfying feeling Guo Ran got made him cry out excitedly. However, the sea demons were endless and fast. Guo Ran only had time to shoot a dozen arrows before they arrived. Dragonblood Brothers, Art Killing Formation, Brothers and Sisters of the Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow Race, Protect the Skies, Brothers of the Mo Family, Attack from the Rear, Brothers of the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, There's nothing for you to do, you can just shout and cheer. Guo Ran quickly made arrangements for the warriors. The Dragonblood Legion's Arc Formation covered everyone. While the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrows guarded the sky and Mo Gates arrows shot from the back, their entire formation was like an iron board. As for the heaven splitting battle sect's disciples, there truly was nothing for them to do. If they stepped forward, it would affect the dragon blood legion's formation. Temporarily, they could only watch. Bao Buping and Chang Hao were irritated, but they also knew that now was not the time for them to take action. Sword Chi, arrows divine abilities, they rained down upon the sea demons, they were slaughtered rapidly, seeing this, Bao Buping said, fine, these little shrimps aren't worth us attacking, when the big fish come, we'll go up, this little bastard, when did he learn to talk big, when he gets back, I'll properly correct him, cursed the old man, but he was smiling, the dragon blood legion's formation was seamless and incredibly powerful, the sea demon army was repeatedly forced back, leaving behind mountains of corpses. The dragon blood legion sword chi possessed a sharpness unique to sword cultivators. But in truth, it was impossible for Yu Zifeng to transmit his sword Dao to everyone. Furthermore, his comprehensions were his own and not suitable for others. Their terrifying sword chi was the result of the runes on their swords. Xia Chen had set up those runes to create an imitation of Yu Zifeng's sword Dao. Xia Chen had spent many years researching this kind of sword Darun. However, back then, he hadn't had enough money, and his research had not borne fruit. After encountering Long Chen, he no longer had that restriction, and there was also a genius like Yu Zifeng whom he could model the sword Qi after. This resulted in him finally coming up with this sword Qi rune. While creating their armor and swords, he had also modified the sword chi runes on them to mix with the dragon blood warrior's power, so that they could unleash a terrifying attack similar to the sword chi of sword cultivators. This sight made the experts from Pill Valley and the other powers sigh with relief that they hadn't charged in like this. Otherwise, they really would have taken hideous losses. Suddenly, the sound of something breaking rang out. The chi flow streams began to gush wildly. The third wave is starting. Everyone. Attack your bottlenecks. People began to shout. This was the moment they had all been waiting for. This was the best time to absorb the chi flow to break through their barriers. Chapter 2191 Hatred and Forgiveness The chi flow streams grew stronger. The very essence of the world was flowing through them. The various leaders of the factions on the Martial Heaven continent began to shout, ordering their disciples to absorb as much of the chi flow as possible. The disciples within the streams of chi flow then attacked the barriers between them and the next realm. In an instant, countless people broke through, their auras rising. Within the chi flow streams, their advancements were incredibly easy. The Pill Fairy, Kun Pengzi, Tian Zizi, Shu Aluacha, and the others also started breaking through. In just three breaths time, they went from the first vestige of life star to the second. Long Chen. If you won't let us absorb the chi flow, 
then you should also give up on absorbing it as well. In the worst case, we'll just return to the martial heaven sea ring and absorb it, while you will have missed your chance, declared the six-horned sea serpent man. He was barely able to keep up with Long Chen due to the bloodline suppression, making him angry enough to cough up blood. It wasn't that he wasn't strong enough, but there was the dragon blood suppression. How foolish. Did you drink too much seawater that your brain rotted? Do you think we didn't come prepared? Long Chen suddenly forced him back and took out a medicinal pill, popping it into his mouth. Heavens, that's a top grade 11th tier pill. He's just stuffing them into his mouth. All the seniors from every faction stared in shock at Long Chen as he began to consume medicinal pills while fighting. Furthermore, they were all top grade 11th tier pills. Actually, they were also tribulation pills, but Long Chen had covered up that fact. Top grade pills might be shocking, but if they were also tribulation pills, that would drive people insane. An explosion came from within Long Chen's body. His 108,000 stars began to grow rapidly and he stepped into the second heaven stage of life star. With Long Chen advancing, his power grew, causing him to suppress the six-horned sea serpent man even more. In the first heaven stage, Long Chen hadn't had much of an advantage over him, but after reaching the second heaven stage, his 108,000 stars had doubled in size. His astral power and spiritual yuan had grown. Seeing Long Chen eat those incredibly precious pills like they were candy and his aura continuously rising, the six-horned sea serpent man finally gave up. Bastard. Just wait. With a swing of his trident, he retreated. Sea demon race. Hear my orders. Follow me. Giving up on Long Chen, he went to a nearby chi flow stream. If you don't want to die, then scram. This chi flow stream contained hundreds of thousands of disciples from the righteous path. However, they were disciples of the sects that had betrayed the Martial Heaven Alliance. Seeing the Sea Demon Army turn their sights on them, they turned green. They weren't the Dragon Blood Legion and didn't dare to fight the Sea Demon race. They would be killed in just a few breaths' time, so they could only obediently leave. After leaving, they were lost. The surrounding Chi Flow streams had been occupied by the other top forces of the continent. The closest one to them was Pill Valley's stream but the disciples inside glared at them menacingly. They clearly would not welcome them. On the other side was the corrupt path stream, and there was even less chance that they could go there. The disciples from the neutral factions looked at them scornfully, also not accepting traitors. The ancient races, the Xuan beasts, the ancient family alliance always treated them coldly. They wouldn't share their chi flow streams with them. There were some smaller streams, but they were unwilling to go there. They were lost. The world was so big, but there was nowhere for them to go. They felt like they had lost their home. The sea demon race had forcibly occupied their territory, and they didn't even dare to make a sound. They felt like the world had discarded them. Come here. After all, we were once a family. Once the chi flow eruption is over, you can leave again. Yi Lingxian's voice rang out, causing those disciples' hearts to shake. They stared at her in disbelief. They had betrayed the Martial Heaven Alliance, so they hadn't expected that the Martial Heaven Alliance would extend a hand to them. Furthermore, for Yi Lingxian to say they had once been family, they were too ashamed to even go. Just come. If you miss this chance, you'll be too weak. When the powerful enemies come, how will you protect the people you want to protect? The righteous path is a family. Although you've left the Martial Heaven Alliance, you are still disciples of the righteous path. We fight for justice, to protect the people we love. Even though our paths are different, our goals are the same. Come, said Yi Lingxian. Even Ku Jinying was shocked that Yi Lingxian would say such a thing. Yi Lingxian had always detested the sects that had betrayed them, but now she was actually inviting them over. Ku Jinying slowly smiled. She now saw another kind of charisma from Yi Lingxian. She had grown up. The disciples behind Yi Lingxian weren't quite happy. They also hated these traitors, but they endured it and didn't say anything. At this moment, Yu Ziaoyan's expression changed as he thought of something. I, Zhao Qingyan, swear before all the experts of the world to rejoin the Martial Heaven Alliance. I pledge my undying loyalty to Sister Lingxian. If I betray this oath, let me forever be damned to hell and never reincarnate. 
one disciple took the lead, tearing off the mark of his sect from his robes and walking over to the Martial Heaven Alliance's side. Following that disciple, countless other disciples also swore their loyalty and rushed over to the Martial Heaven Alliance's side. Yu Ziaoyan immediately shouted, Don't be impetuous, you can come to Pill Valley's stream. Fuck your Pill Valley, don't think you can con me any longer. I can see your true face now. All that nonsense about thinking about the Martial Heaven continent and the lives on the continent was bullshit. Go home and eat shit, shouted one disciple amongst the crowd. Li Kang, get back here. Are you not going to listen to your master's words? Shouted one elder at his disciple. A person with no morals who can be bought by Pill Valley isn't fit to be my master. Having kowtowed to your sect is my life's greatest shame, responded that disciple. If it weren't for you, how could we end up in such a position, abandoned by everyone? Li Kang then tore off an arm. I, Li Kang, hereby sever my ties with the clear sea gate. This arm was a medal of my sect, but today I swear to never use it again. A rune sealed the wound making sure it wouldn't regrow. That disciple's actions moved countless righteous experts. He actually destroyed the grace that his sect had given him. It could be seen just how disappointed he was in his sect and master. Many of the disciples on the Martial Heaven Alliance's side felt their hatred vanish after seeing that display. They suddenly thought of a certain thing. Those sects that had betrayed the Martial Heaven Alliance were led by the sect leaders. Their disciples were mostly innocent. To be a disciple receiving a master's kindness was not something light. Cutting that tie could not be done casually. The Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples started to feel sympathy for them. Li Kang was immediately embraced by another expert. That person said, Brother, welcome home. All the people here are your life and death brothers. Li Kang was so moved that he wept, warming other people's hearts. Hundreds of thousands of disciples now joined the Martial Heaven Alliance's side. No matter how their elders shouted or cursed at them, not one of them left. Yi Lingxian's kindness had won them over. They swore to themselves that even if they had to die, they would not betray the Martial Heaven Alliance. The old man and Ku Jinying exchanged a smile. Yi Lingxian had a different style than Ku Jinying, but she was also capable of making people fervently loyal to her. Yi Lingxian looked at Long Chen and saw him wink at her and raise a thumb. Yi Lingxian smiled. Just now, Long Chen had given her a nudge to do this. At that time, she had felt a bit unwilling because she truly did hate traitors. But now she understood. The label of traitor couldn't be tacked on to just anyone. Using just her heart to judge things would give her a skewed vision. These new disciples all looked at her with eyes full of gratitude and warmth. That was an extremely moving feeling. Steady yourselves. Don't get too emotional. Or you'll miss out on this chance. Quickly break through your shackles reminded Yi Lingxian. Yes, all the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples, old and new, cried out in unison. Finally, there was a sense of unity amongst them. With every blink of an eye, thousands of experts broke through a realm. Not good. Ku Jin Ying's expression suddenly changed. Chapter 2192 Crazy Advancements What is it? Asked the old man and the others. The Dragonblood Legion's warriors have raised their cultivation bases very high. The majority have even reached the 5th or 6th heaven stage. They only have a limited amount of room to grow, while many of the disciples in the other powers are still in the 1st heaven stage. When everyone has reached the 9th heaven stage, there will be a large gap between them, said Kujinying. The old man nodded. This truly was a problem, but at this time, there was no way to change anything. At first, no one had known when the chi flow eruption would occur. Was it really possible to not cultivate all that time? What if the eruption didn't occur for a hundred years? Were they supposed to wait a century? Everyone had only stopped cultivating when the phenomenon indicating that the chi flow eruption was coming had occurred. However, many of the Martial Heaven Continent's experts had reached the fourth or fifth heaven stage before that. Some people had even reached the eighth. Who were those people supposed to complain to? Every advancement you made within the Qi flow stream would give you a huge boost in power. It would strengthen your manifestation and astral space. If one person made one advancement and another person made eight advancements, a huge power gap would appear between them. That was what Ku Jin Ying was worried about. 
In the current battle, the Dragonblood Warriors had an advantage with their cultivation bases. But once everyone's cultivation bases rose in the Qi flow stream, that advantage would become a disadvantage. Don't worry, this is a problem Long Chen has definitely thought of. He has all kinds of crazy ideas, said the old man. All the experts in the Qi flow streams were doing their best to blast through the Havenstages. They were like people about to die of thirst, a thirst that could only be quenched by absorbing the Qi flow. Dongfang Yuyang has reached the fifth Havenstage. He's so fast, exclaimed someone from the Martial Heaven Alliance. To go from the first Havenstage to the fifth Havenstage, Dongfang Yuyang had only used half an incense stick's worth of time. Long Chen had also reached the fourth Havenstage. But will he really be all right? Hu Jin Ying's voice shuddered. In the distance, Long Chen was stuffing medicinal pills into his mouth with both hands. Sometimes he would choke and need a mouthful of wine to stuff the pills down. Even someone with as much experience as Hu Jin Ying shivered. The power of top grade 11th tier pills was not to be underestimated. Not even the body of a Xuan beast would be able to endure so many. Long Chen hadn't stopped stuffing his face since the start. That appearance was too shocking. Where did he get so many medicinal pills from? People were both shocked and envious. All those medicinal pills had been used up by Long Chen. For others, a top grade 11th tier pill would be a priceless treasure. Some people had prepared one or two of those pills and had yet to consume them because they were saving them for the final breakthrough to the 9th heaven stage. On the other hand, Long Chen was consuming such treasures like they were food. People guessed that it was due to the support of the Huai insect in the distance. The Huai insect's disciples were spread out, standing within the unremarkable small streams of Qi flow. Without paying attention, they almost seemed invisible. The Huai insect didn't wish to fight. They had brought hundreds of thousands of disciples, all very low key. They were quietly absorbing the Qi flow from the outer streams. Fuck, how can they be so fast? Long Chen was raging inside as he crazily consumed pills. His cultivation base had reached the fifth heaven stage, but Dongfang Yuyang and the others had reached the seventh. He was already going as fast as he could. The swallow the heavens, devour the earth divine ability that Evil Moon had given him was at max power. The pills he was consuming were all top grade tribulation pills. If it was anyone else. Consuming ten at the same time would make them explode from the energy inside. Those pills were being sucked into his body like a flood. His 108,000 astral spaces grew larger and larger. But even like this, he wasn't able to keep up with Dongfang Yuyang and the others. This was Long Chen's fastest advancement throughout history. With his divine ring behind him, the Qi flow was rapidly being absorbed. Although he couldn't sense the blessing of the heavens. He could feel the energy of the qi flow mixing with the medicinal energy, multiplying his speed. Faster, faster, faster. Long Chen was starting to panic. If the qi flow eruption came to an end, he would not get a chance to advance so quickly anymore. In that case, Dongfang Yuyang and the others would have reached the Nether Passage realm, while he would be stuck in the Life Star realm. I have to go all out. Long Chen suddenly took out a barrel that was filled with Life Star pills, all top grade. Others almost ran over to snatch that barrel from his hands when they saw those pills. After that, Long Chen poured all those pills into his mouth. Does he want to die? cried one of the elders of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Rumbling rang out within Long Chen's body. The clothes on his upper body exploded, revealing his seemingly thin but extremely powerful body. His blood vessels began to bulge visibly under his skin. It was even possible to see his blood flowing rapidly within him. The sound of his blood was like 10,000 horses stampeding. HMPH. Using external force is just a crooked cheat. He'll be the one to suffer in the end. Sneered someone. Throughout all of history, no one had dared to consume so many pills at the same time. Perhaps Long Chen did have some secret art to absorb those pills. But using external force to explosively grow one's power like this was not in accordance with the heavenly deos. There would definitely be some issues in the future. The Dragonblood Warriors quickly reached the ninth heaven stage. At that point, they could no longer continue advancing. Upon reaching the ninth heaven stage, it was time to attempt breaking through to Nether Passage. Before that though, 
They needed some time to comprehend life and death energy. If they went straight to the full circle of life star, they wouldn't be leaving themselves enough time for that comprehension. Their cultivation base would then surpass their mental realm. That was a great taboo of cultivation. The Dragonblood warriors opened their eyes and felt their new power coursing through their veins. In particular, their astral spaces were many times larger than before. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's disciples had also advanced. Contrary to humans, the Xuan beasts' advancements mostly focused on their physical body and purifying their bloodlines. The higher their cultivation bases grew, the purer their bloodlines became. The stronger they were, the stronger their descendants would be. Many of their powerful divine abilities could be transmitted through their bloodlines, which could benefit their descendants. Amongst the Dragonblood Legion, there was one person that was particularly special. From the start, he had just been sitting there, his head drooping. At this time, there was a sonorous snoring sound coming from him. Even at this time, he can sleep. Wild's really innocent. Guo Ran felt a bit of envy. Wild didn't feel the slightest nervousness about sleeping here. Perhaps he was the one with the happiest life. After eating his fill, Wild usually fell asleep. When he woke, he usually ate. Due to a lack of battles, he had managed to save up plenty of rations. He was now in a cycle of eating and sleeping, sleeping and eating. During this process, his body continued to get stronger. Even sitting, he was almost as tall as everyone standing. His aura only continued to grow more terrifying. Everyone in the Dragonblood Legion envied him. All Wild had to do was eat and sleep while they cultivated as if their lives depended on it. Long Chen continued taking out more and more barrels of medicinal pills, making people crazy. They suspected that they were in a dream. Since when did the Martial Heaven Continent have so many top grade 11th tier pills? Every barrel had to contain several hundred thousand top grade pills. Most rank 9 Celestials didn't even have one such pill. Only Empyreans with awakened manifestations were qualified to possess one or two such pills. Most of those pills had been purchased from Pill Valley and the Huaian sect at a high price. They had been prepared specifically for the Qi Flow eruption. Long Chen's cultivation base soared. He went straight to the 6th, 7th, 8th, and then 9th heaven stage. At the 9th heaven stage, blood began to leak out of his skin. This crazy advancement was too much for his body. Ignoring that, he continued consuming pills. His eyes were scarlet, looking like he had gone insane. This was a sign of pill toxins overwhelming him. It was sometimes said that top-grade pills didn't have pill toxins and could be consumed without worry. However, in reality, every pill was part medicine and part poison. Even top-grade pills were not an exception. It was just that their toxic effect was so small that it was usually irrelevant. Eating one could be ignored, but eating hundreds of thousands all at once made it significant. As those pills toxins accumulated, they only grew worse. However, Long Chen had no time to expel those toxins. Others were done upon reaching the ninth heaven stage, but he wasn't. The final three heaven stages of the nine star hegemon body art were the ones that required the most energy. He continued taking out barrels. Suddenly, an explosion came from his body, and his skin split open. Blood covered his body. Upon reaching the tenth heaven stage, his body immediately began to fall apart. But he didn't stop. Long Chen, have you gone crazy? You have to stop, shouted Ku Jinying. Long Chen indicated to her not to worry and continued stuffing himself with pills. At this time, several terrifying auras rose. Dongfang Yuyang and the others had advanced to the ninth heaven stage of life star. Dongfang Yuyang, Zeman Shiangsheng, Kun Pengzi, Tian Zizi, Shai Lingfang, Shu Aluicha, Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang. All the experts on that level had advanced. Mo Nian had as well. However, compared to other people, their advancements were a bit different. Their manifestations began to transform. Their manifestations became full of life and color. Spirit blood activates. Talent awakens. Manifestation achieves spirituality. Chapter 2193 12th Heaven of Life Star Ha Ha Ha. Shai Lingfeng laughed wildly as a giant figure stood behind him. That was an expert of the stone race covered in crystals. There was a third eye on his forehead. 
His gaze was icy, and a terrifying pressure came from him. The three-eyed stone emperor, Shai Changsheng, the senior generation cried out as they recognized the person within Shai Lingfeng's manifestation. That was Shai Changsheng. Stone forest manifests long life, Shai Lingfeng shouted. His manifestation rumbled as immense power shot out of it. Mountains collapsed, and even the qi flow stream he was in twisted. When Shai Lingfeng shouted the name of his manifestation, the wind and clouds flickered. A sacred energy came from Shai Lingfeng. At this time, Long Chen wasn't paying attention to anything outside himself. He was still crazily consuming pills. Another explosion came from his body, and his flesh split open. The 11th heaven stage. Good. I hope I can make it in time. Long Chen's eyes were red as the pill toxins grew worse. But without hesitation, he consumed more pills. These pills had been refined by the moon and star refining furnace. The more pills it refined, the greater its power grew. Several new runes had activated within it. The runes could create nine smaller furnaces within it, allowing it to refine nine furnaces of pills at one time. During the past few days, Long Chen hadn't done anything other than refining life star pills. Now they finally had a use. However, after reaching the ninth heaven stage, Long Chen suppressed his aura, not allowing others to sense his aura continuing to explode. Otherwise, they would suspect something about his nine star hegemon body art. As a result of suppressing his aura, the impact on his body worsened, making each advancement cause an even greater pressure on his body. Dongfang Yuyang and the others' auras transformed. Heaven and earth were shaking due to their existence. Even amongst the heavenly geniuses present, they were clearly marked as the true favorites of the world, the future rulers of the continent. The Qi flow streams had yet to stop, but they were starting to show signs of weakening. The Qi flow eruption was nearing its end. When people looked toward the sea demon race, their hearts shook. There were actually five experts amongst the sea demons who had similar auras as Zeman Shiangsheng and the others. Their spirit blood had been activated. However, those five didn't move after activating their spirit blood. They simply stood guard over the six-horned sea serpent man. His eyes were closed, and it seemed he was still a bit away from reaching full power. Seeing that Long Chen still focused on advancing, a cold light appeared in Shai Lingfeng's eyes. He suddenly shot over to the dragon blood legion. Long Chen, I can't wait any longer. I'll take your head right now. Shai Lingfeng shot over on his own. The ground split open as Li Qi and Song Mingyuan both summoned an earth giant. The two earth giants swung giant hammers at Shai Lingfeng. Scram. In front of my current self, you are just two ants. Golden light radiated out of Shai Lingfeng. He punched and the figure within his manifestation also punched. A giant fist landed, shattering space. The immense power blew apart the earth giants before the first even touched them. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan's expressions changed. They began to summon one giant earth wall after another. The earthen walls were destroyed one by one. A total of 118 of them were blown through before that single fist's power was exhausted. Is this the power of activating one's spirit blood and fully awakening a heaven's soul manifestation? People were shocked by this scene. The current Shai Lingfeng could no longer be compared to the old Shai Lingfeng. A prerequisite to activating a heaven's soul manifestation is activating the spirit blood. Only with the spirit blood awakened is it possible to connect to a heaven's soul manifestation. Now, not only has Shai Lingfeng awakened the power of his bloodline, but he can also use the Stone Emperor's divine abilities through his manifestation. There might not be anyone who can stop him. Sighed another person. Have a taste of another punch. Shai Lingfeng attacked once more. Boom. This time, the fist exploded halfway there. It was blown to bits by an arrow. Even receiving a hundred punches would be no problem. Mo Nian had stepped forward. The two figures within his manifestation were finally clear. They were two handsome men with sharp eyes. The two of them didn't seem to be emitting any fluctuations or giving off any sense of danger, but the laws of heaven and earth were drawn to them. The bow in Mo Nian's hand began to buzz. At some unknown time, a pair of arm protectors with gloves that didn't cover his fingers had appeared on his arms. The black bracers had blood-colored runes pulsing on them in accordance with his manifestation. Mo Nian pulled back the bowstring. 
and a translucent arrow appeared. A giant whirlpool showed up around Mo Nian. In the instant that he pulled back the bowstring, all the surrounding baleful chi was absorbed by his arrow. Mo Gate Hidden Dual Sages. Mo Nian's manifestation shook. His arrow shot out like a bolt of lightning. Shai Ling Feng had no chance to dodge it. The energy of heaven and earth had locked this arrow onto him. With a shout, he crossed his arms in front of him. The figure within his manifestation also crossed its arms. Mo Nian's arrow smashed into both sets of arms. Shai Ling Feng was forced back, leaving a long ditch in the ground. This is the power of a heaven soul manifestation? It's too powerful. Just being struck by the outer edges is enough to destroy us. Other Empyreans stared in shock at this power. Mo Nian immediately pulled back his bowstring and unleashed another arrow. He, all the experts were shocked. Was this terrifying arrow just a casual attack? Was it nothing more than an ordinary attack for the current Mo Nian? Was he really human? Boom. Shai Ling Feng smashed his fist forward, blasting apart the arrow. But he was forced back nine steps, the earth crumbling with each step. Some weaker people in the Qi flow streams in his path were forced to flee upon seeing him stumbling into their area. Mo Nian, I didn't expect your Mo family would transform two skeletons into your Mo Gate's inherited manifestation. How laughable. Shu Aluacha tottered over to Mo Nian, her meteor hammer in her hand. Mo Nian's expression immediately darkened, a vein pulsing on his forehead. The Blood Emperor's family is full of ungrateful pieces of shit. If I don't slaughter you today, I won't be called Mo Nian. Multiple arrows shot out. The Mo family is just a dog my Shue family raised. If you were obedient, we'd treat you well. If you weren't, then we'd kill you for meat. What's wrong with that? Shu Aluacha sneered. An imposing man with a crown on his head appeared within her manifestation, unleashing a wave of divine might. She smashed her meteor hammer at him. Following Shu Aluacha, all the ancient family alliance's disciples were forced to flee. Powerful explosions shook the sky as the meteor hammer blasted through the arrows. Some of the slower disciples to run were blown away, coughing up blood. Slut, I'll definitely kill you today. Mo Nian roared, truly infuriated. Ten thousand arrows shot out of his bow, raining down on Shu Aluacha. Shu Aluacha was enveloped by the rain of arrows, but even from within that rain of arrows, she sent her meteor hammer smashing toward Mo Nian. As Mo Nian and Shu Aluacha began a berserk fight, Shai Ling Feng rushed back, going toward Long Chen who was still consuming pills. Kill Long Chen together. Tian Zizi also stepped forward. Unexpectedly, a divine halo appeared behind his head. A divine sun. Shocked cries rang out. After awakening his heaven's soul manifestation, Tian Zizi had actually gained the approval of the corrupt god and was blessed by the divine halo, turning him into the corrupt path's divine son. Kun Pengzi and Dong Fang Yuyang also took action, taking advantage of this time. The curious thing was that Zeman Shiangsheng, who had previously attacked, was now just quietly looking at Long Chen, seeming to be thinking about something. Boss isn't ready yet. We'll win time for him, said Guo Ran solemnly. No need. I'm done. Suddenly, Long Chen stopped stuffing pills into his mouth. Just at this moment, the Qi flow stream slowed down and faded away. The earth closed once more. Boss, Guo Ran and the others were shocked by Long Chen's current state. He was covered in blood, and even his bones were exposed in several spots. His eyes were fiery red, and his aura was completely unstable. It looked like he might explode at any moment. I'm fine. Fall back to the exit. I'll handle things here. Long Chen's voice was so hoarse that it was almost unrecognizable. Guo Ran waved his hand, and the Dragonblood warriors jumped onto the backs of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrows. They retreated, leaving only Long Chen, Dai, Tian Zizi, Kun Pengzi, Shai Lingfang, and Dong Fang Yuyang attacked at the same time. Streaks of divine light shot at Long Chen. Scram. Long Chen suddenly let out a furious roar that was like thunder. A berserk aura erupted out of his control. Chapter 2194 Shocking World Energy Dong Fang Yuyang had barely gotten close to Long Chen when a terrifying Qi wave blasted them back. It was like a star had exploded, and the four of them were unable to resist. What the four of them were shocked, 
and their first guess as to what had just happened was that Long Chen had exploded. Otherwise, there was no way that just his aura could force them back. The others watching were also stunned. Qi waves continued to surge out of Long Chen with such power that the laws of the heavenly deos crumbled around him. In that instant, Long Chen seemed to be isolated by the rest of the world. Without a heaven soul manifestation, without the support of the heavenly deos, without any aura of some ancient power, how does he possess such might? It seems to be pure world energy. But how could his world energy be so terrifying if it really is pure world energy? Then his astral space has to be unimaginably big. It can actually go against the laws of the martial heaven continent. All kinds of guesses were made. Long Chen's power could only be described as terrifying. From ancient times to now, there had never been a case of someone whose world energy could reach such a level. Long Chen spread his arms and roared. A blast of power caused the world to collapse around him. The collapsed space spread as if he was hammering it over and over again. Tian Zizi, Kun Pengzi, Shai Lingfeng, and Dongfang Yuyang were forced to back further away. Twelve blasts came from Long Chen's body. Standing within a giant hole, Long Chen looked like a devil god. His eyes were scarlet, and his black hair whipped around him. The 108,000 stars within his body had linked up into one giant starry diagram. With it, he felt as if he controlled the power of a whole cosmos. Every star had grown to a size of 300,000 miles. When he advanced to the 12th heaven stage, his power could no longer be controlled, and he was forced to allow it to explode outside of him. It was like a dam being released, and as his power blasted out of him, he felt a sense of relief. I refuse to believe this, Shai Lingfen roared. Long Chen was actually more powerful, more terrifying than before. He could not accept this. The stone emperor within his manifestation unleashed a punch at Long Chen. You can refuse to believe it, but you'll have to believe this. Long Chen smiled. The world trees in his primal chaos space rapidly withered as he drew out their life energy to heal. He only managed to fully recover when they were completely withered. My physical body is now so strong that the world trees aren't able to keep up anymore. Long Chen clenched his fist. The growth of his astral spaces had forced his physical body to also become stronger. He quickly put on a new set of black robes made personally by Chu Yao. In his new robes, he looked even more striking. Boom. Long Chen didn't accumulate any power and just let out a simple punch. It was no magical art or battle skill. It was a simple punch backed by the power overflowing from him. However, this simple punch brought with it the sound of heaven and earth collapsing. This was a power that exceeded people's understanding. Long Chen's punch not only blasted through the fist from the figure in Shai Lingfeng's manifestation, but it also struck Shai Lingfeng's fist. In front of everyone's shocked gazes, Shai Lingfeng's arm exploded, all the way up to his shoulder. Long Chen quickly followed up with a kick to Shai Lingfeng's abdomen, and the latter screamed. A hole appeared in his abdomen and golden blood flowed out. He shot back like a cannonball. Shai Lingfeng's manifestation stamped on the ground, trying to stabilize him, but Long Chen's power was so great that he continued flipping through the air. After flipping three times, Shai Lingfeng finally managed to stop. He had just barely stabilized himself with his manifestation when Long Chen appeared next to him like a gust of wind, unleashing another simple punch. With just one arm, Shai Lingfeng didn't dare to block it. He slammed a palm on the ground while his manifestation unleashed another punch. He flew away. However, he was prepared this time, and his other arm regrew. He formed hand seals, earth energy, heavenly stone source, stone ramparts raised the heavens, his manifestation stamped on the ground, and one giant stone wall after another appeared. There were 36 of them buying him time. Long Chen shot through the stone walls. Those incredibly tough and thick walls were like piles of flour in front of him. A black shadow passed through them. The 36 stone walls were instantly pierced through. Long Chen's foot stamped onto Shai Lingfeng's chest. So hard that a bulge appeared on his back. His body was almost stamped through. Shai Lingfeng was sent flying once more. Everyone was flabbergasted as they saw Long Chen completely crush Shai Lingfeng. Heaven defying. Absolutely heaven defying. Is Long Chen really human? Shai Lingfeng had activated his spirit blood and connected to his manifestation. 
His power had soared, yet he was still beaten by Long Chen to the point of being unable to retaliate. Stone Emperor Spirit, Bloodline summons Shai Ling Feng roared. Golden blood flowed out of his nose, eyes, ears, and mouth, turning his entire body golden. The figure within his manifestation rumbled and gradually merged with him. Shai Ling Feng's aura became ancient and domineering. He's actually igniting his spirit blood. Startled cries rang out. Shai Ling Feng had managed to revitalize his spirit blood. So it was no longer like the ordinary spirit blood of other experts. It contained the power of his inheritance and was incomparably precious. This kind of spirit blood was not replenishable. Every bit he used up would be gone forever. Once he used it all up, he would never be able to connect to his manifestation again. Shai Ling Feng let out a bestial roar that created waves in the surrounding space. Long Chen, I'll tear your corpse to pieces. This grand aspiration is something you'll never achieve in this lifetime. Long Chen faced the golden Shai Ling Feng directly. Long Chen's fist struck Shai Ling Feng's wild attack and caused the ground to sink. Support Shai Ling Feng. Dong Feng Yuyang immediately rushed over, getting a bad feeling upon seeing that even while igniting his spirit blood, Shai Ling Feng was unable to beat Long Chen. Once Shai Ling Feng's spirit blood was used up, there would be no chance of defeating Long Chen. Dong Feng Yuyang rushed over with his spear and shield. An ancient aura spread out of him. Kun Pengzi and Tian Zizi also attacked. Kun Pengzi's Kunpeng manifestation became golden, and divine light flowed from it into Kun Pengzi's body. His lightning halberd rumbled. Tian Zizi's divine halo glowed. The corrupt god's figure within his manifestation also enveloped Tian Zizi in divine light. An evil air unfurled. With just a wave of his hand, death filled the air. Boom. The four of them attacked at the same time, causing heaven and earth to collapse. However, what shocked everyone was that all four of them shot back, coughing up blood. A pillar of light was at the center of their battlefield. That sight reminded people of the Qi flow streams. However, this pillar of light centered around Long Chen. His divine ring spun rapidly. The five-point star within the divine ring had been replaced with a six-sided design. The six-sided design had five bright stars and one very dim star. The dim star was the Nethergate star that he had just recently condensed. This star had yet to go through the nine star transformations and so he was unable to summon the true six-star battle armor. However, just its existence was enough to make Long Chen's aura grow explosively. Long Chen took eight steps through the air, each step causing his aura to grow more and more. At the eighth step, he raised his saber. Split the heavens eight. A black saber image fell from the nine heavens like a black river of stars, bringing with it endless destructive power. Dong Fang Yuyang's expression changed. Long Chen's attack was targeted on him. A ruthless expression appeared on his face. He put away his spear and shield, pressing his palms together. The Dong Fang family's ancient castle appeared in the air. Chapter 2195 No one can stop him. Dong Fang Yuyang had summoned the Dong Fang family's treasure, the astral ancient castle. The giant castle immediately lit up, and the formation at the heart of the castle unleashed a wave of light. This castle was a battle fort that had only been used during the most intense battles of history. That was because the cost of using it was too great. Although Dong Fang Yuyang had used it before, he had only utilized some of its simple functions. But now, he was activating its true defense, which came at a huge cost. Boom. Long Chen's saber struck the ancient castle, causing ripples to spread in every direction. Even the people in the distance felt suffocated in the face of that pressure. The ground cracked in every direction. However, Long Chen's attack was unable to damage the ancient castle. Boss. This ancient castle has countless formations supporting it and an endless source of energy. You can't break it. Messaged Xia Chen. This battle fort was used for large-scale battles. Hence, there was a huge amount of energy stored inside it. Without exhausting all that energy, it would not break. Then I'll hit it until it breaks. Long Chen slashed his saber once more. Just from Dong Fang Yuyang and the other experts of the Dong Fang family's pained expressions. He could tell that the cost of using this ancient castle was extremely high. Boom. Once more, his attack was unable to cause any damage. He had barely unleashed his attack when Kun Pengzi's sharp attack came from the side. Scram. 
Long Chen slashed Devil Moon to the side, sending Kun Pengzi flying. Kun Pengzi was appalled by Long Chen's destructive power. Just that one swing caused him to almost cough up blood. How could this happen? I've awakened an inherited heaven soul manifestation. How am I still unable to defeat him? Kun Pengzi was gloomy faced. When he had attacked the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race, Long Chen hadn't been a match for him. If Mo Nian hadn't been there, he would have had absolute confidence in killing Long Chen. However, now, he was unable to even receive a single blow from Long Chen. This made no sense. Corrupt God Gaze. Tian Zizi formed hand seals in the sky, and the corrupt god image within his manifestation unleashed a ray of light from its eyes. Long Chen's heart shook. Lightning wings spread on his back, and he dodged. That ray of light pierced through the ground, and the earth rapidly turned black. The stone walls from Shai Lingfeng that had been destroyed now began to rot. What a terrifying curse energy. Long Chen was stunned. This was a curse containing divine energy. Touching it meant death. Get out of my way. Long Chen's life is mine. Suddenly, a furious row rang out. A man with six horns on his head charged over, his bone trident slamming toward Long Chen. This expert of the six horned sea serpent race had finally woken, and a divine ring had appeared behind his back. However, this divine ring was a reflection of the martial heaven sea ring. A huge amount of power surged into him. Sea ring buries all life. When he shouted the name of his manifestation, the world shuddered. The martial heaven sea ring surged with angry waves. All the disciples were shocked by this power. It was no wonder their seniors had told them not to become enemies with the sea demon race. With the manifestation of the martial heaven sea ring, this six-horned sea serpent's young king seemed to be able to control the entire sea by himself. This was a power that sparked despair. Boom. The six-horned man crashed into Long Chen. Their two divine rings shuddered, with heaven and earth resonating. Their immense power caused the stars in the sky to shudder. Fragments of spastime flew out as the laws of the world were shattered. The people outside were no longer able to see what was happening inside. Their power is already capable of affecting spastime. That's just terrifying, sighed one of the seniors. That six-horned sea serpent should be a young king of his race. All the martial heaven sea rings karmic luck is probably supporting him. It's no wonder none of the seniors of the sea demon race came. They have absolute confidence in him. And most terrifying of all, he will only continue to grow stronger. But Long Chen's not weaker than him. He's actually able to fight against him. In comparison, the others seem inferior after sensing the immense power possessed by Long Chen and the horned man. It was clear that Dong Fang Yuyang. Tian Zizi, Kun Pengzi, and Shai Lingfeng had been pushed aside. The center of the battlefield began to sink while the surrounding land was rising. The terrain was completely transformed by their power. This was a world-destroying battle. Suddenly, an intense explosion unleashed two counter-imposing blazes of light that split the world in two. Long Chen and the Horned Man appeared on opposite ends. Long Chen rested Evil Moon on his shoulder and slowly floated into the air. His divine ring shook, and stars circulated in his eyes. The horned man was truly very powerful. His power was practically endless. But Long Chen's battle intent only grew against a powerful opponent. The horned man also looked to be full of battle intent. He was a king amongst the sea demon race, a leader of the entire martial heaven sea ring. He had never encountered someone who was a match for him. However, today... He had been slapped in the face twice as soon as he stepped onto the continent, filling him with rage. Die. Suddenly, the six horns on his head lit up at the same time. His blood chi ignited, and specks of starry light appeared within the sea ring behind him. Following that, a strange image appeared within the sea ring, and bloodline power began to extend throughout the world. After taking a step, his trident pierced forward with a frightening sound. You want to rely on external power? Then I won't stand on courtesy either. Long Chen could see that the image within the sea ring was a totem art. It was a secret art of the six-horned sea serpent race to absorb external energy. Evil Moon's dragon images lit up, and Long Chen's originally white scales became infected by its black aura, turning them into alternating black and white. At the same time, Long Chen's own blood chi rumbled as Evil Moon loaned him its evil dragon energy. After awakening, 
Evil Moon had completely transformed. A resounding dragon cry rang out as Long Chen and Evil Moon once more joined forces. They began to clash against the Bone Trident, unleashing huge ripples with every exchange. Blinding light stabbed people's eyes. Bastard. How can this be? The horned man raged, feeling like he was going crazy. With the power of the Azure Dragon and the Evil Dragon mixed together, Long Chen's bloodline power was suppressing him once more. After activating his spirit blood, linking to his manifestation, and having the support of the Martial Heaven Sea Ring, the Horned Man had managed to resist the suppression of the Azure Dragon battle armor. However, now with the power of two dragons shooting out of Long Chen's body, the Horned Man was getting suppressed again, which made him angry enough to cough up blood. Evil Moon continued to press down on him. He was feeling weaker. Although he roared furiously, that didn't change anything. He was constantly forced back. Damn you. The Horned Man was so furious that veins almost popped on his forehead. As the dragon might suppressed him, his power began to drop. If you have any ability, put away your dragon pressure and let's have a real fight. If you have the ability, put away your manifestation and let's have a real fight replied Long Chen. The horned man almost coughed up blood. Without his manifestation, how was he supposed to fight against Long Chen's terrifying world energy? Just at this moment, a lightning halberd shot over. Kun Pengzi was attacking Long Chen from behind. Long Chen swung his saber, but this time, his arm shook. When he looked more closely, he realized that there were two different blood kiss coming from Kun Pengzi's body. With the power of these two blood kiss, Kun Pengzi's manifestation was bestowing him even greater power. Two differently colored blood kiss. Kun Pengzi has condensed a chain of his spirit blood to reach through his inherited manifestation and utilize the Peng Emperor's power, cried one expert. Die. Tian Zizi also attacked. The soul summoning banner appeared, unleashing rays of evil light that slashed at Long Chen like blades. The sound of ghosts wailing stabbed into people's minds. Long Chen didn't dare to face those directly. His lightning wings spread, blocking the light from the soul summoning banner. Dong Fang Yuiang and Shai Ling Feng also attacked. Dong Fang Yuiang shouted, Friend from the Six Horned Sea Serpent race, Long Chen has a natural advantage over you. You can find something else to do if you want. The horned man was fuming. With the dragon suppression, he was unable to properly release his full power. Hearing Dong Fang Yuiang's suggestion, he suddenly eyed the dragon blood legion. That's good too. I'll kill his companions and make him depressed. The horned man abandoned his fight with Long Chen, going straight toward the dragon blood legion. Chapter 2196 Barbarian Blood Silver Body Fool. I'd advise you not to go. Seeing the man from the six horned sea serpent man leave him, Long Chen smiled. Worry about yourself. Dong Fang Yu Yang was pleased with this turn of events and even used the astral ancient castle to keep Long Chen tied down here so he couldn't help the Dragon Blood Legion. The Six Horned Sea Serpent Man flew straight to the Dragon Blood Legion. Seeing that, Hu Jin Ying was about to give the order to support the Dragon Blood Legion when Yu Ziaoyan and the others appeared in front of them. What? Does the Martial Heaven Alliance wish to continue harboring rebels? Sneered Yu Ziaoyan. All the experts from Pill Valley, the ancient races, the corrupt path, the ancient family alliance, and the Xuan beasts had come. The old man smiled and reached for the heaven-splitting blade on his back. Ha ha ha. Just at this moment, Guo Ran's arrogant laughter rang out. Little fellow, you couldn't beat my boss. So you want to run rampant here? Are you sure you weren't dropped on the head as a child? Be careful of being beaten to the point that not even your mother recognizes you. Die. Ants. The six-horned sea serpent man roared, raising his trident. Wild. Wake up. Someone's stealing your meat. Guo Ran suddenly shouted into the ear of the sleeping wild. What wild instantly shot up. Furious. He immediately saw the six-horned sea serpent man. No. He's the real food. When wild saw him, his eyes lit up, looking like a hungry beast. Wild shot toward him without any further prompting from Guo Ran. Stop and let me eat you. The six-horned sea serpent man stumbled, almost tripping. His expression twisted in fury. Long Chen's slaps had been infuriating enough, but now he was actually being treated as food? He slammed his bone trident at Wild. Die. 
Wilde smashed his giant bone club forward. As a result, Wilde went flying, flipping through the air. This result shocked Kujin Ying and the others. This giant foolish oaf was actually able to block the six-horned sea serpent man? In their opinion, Wilde should have been directly killed by his terrifying power. Boom. Wilde crawled up from the ground, roared, and once more charged forward. A bloodthirsty light in his eyes. As he charged forward, his body began to grow. A terrifying blood chi rose out of him, and spots of silver started to appear on his skin until his entire body turned silver. He had transformed into a 300-meter giant. He, seeing this silver giant, everyone, including the six-horned sea serpent man, jumped in shock. How could a human become so big? Is he from the legendary ancient barbarian race? How is that possible? Weren't they all killed off a long time ago? Cried out an extremely old-looking elder. I'll beat you to death. Wild's bone club grew with him, and he smashed it down. Only then did the six-horned sea serpent man recover from his shock and hastily raise his bone trident. A huge wave of earth exploded beyond the horizon. The distant experts were forced to dodge. As others were stunned by the sight, Long Chen smiled ever so slightly. Wild had eaten so much that he started to get picky about his food. He only wanted peak 12th rank magical beasts to eat now, and only those with powerful physical bodies at that. He had transformed from his original copper body to silver body, and furthermore, there was some faint gold color on his hands, feet, knees, elbows, and shoulders. From Yu Zihan, Long Chen had learned that due to eating so much, Wild had broken past the limit of the barbarian blood silver body and was starting to turn golden. Yu Zihan said that Wild possessed the emperor bloodline amongst the barbarian race, the blood barbarian. They awakened the power of their bloodline purely by eating meat. As long as Wild had enough meat, he could eat to the peak of the martial Dao. In the entire Dragon Blood Legion, the only one who could match Long Chen in power was Wild. The outsiders present had not expected there to be another such existence within the Dragon Blood Legion. Bastard. Die. The six horned sea serpent man was shocked and enraged. This blow had caused his arms to feel numb. Using some unknown secret art, he also grew larger and once more raised his trident. As a result, Wilde's club came sweeping toward him, and Wilde didn't even look at the trident. It looked like a suicidal exchange of death blows, dumbfounding the six horned sea serpent man. They had just started exchanging blows. Was this oaf really a fool? He naturally refused such an exchange. His hurried block resulted in him being blown into the distance. He furiously got back up and stabbed his trident at Wilde's chest, the tip shining with a cold light. However, Wilde continued to ignore him. No matter what attack the six-horned sea serpent man used, Wilde would simply launch his own attack and ignore the six-horned sea serpent man, as his trident was about to stab into Wilde's chest. Wilde's club also reached his chest. The six-horned sea serpent man felt like he would explode in fury. Was this fellow an idiot? At that critical moment, he hastily switched to defense, resulting in him being sent flying once more. The experts in the distance stood with their jaws hanging open. So the Dragonblood Legion had been hiding such a terrifying expert. It even seemed that Wilde was stronger than Long Chen as he had sent this terrifying expert flying twice in a row. Bastard. Do you want to try it again? This time, the six-horned sea serpent man went through with his attack, stabbing his trident into Wilde's chest. However, he suddenly found that he was unable to push it more than a few inches in. Wilde's physical body had reached an unimaginable level. It was even tougher than a divine item. Just at that moment, Wilde's club smashed into his ribs. He felt a sharp pain and was once more sent flying. Fresh blood flowed out of Wilde's chest. However, he simply rubbed his chest forcibly and the blood flow ceased. With an angry howl, he charged forward once more, seemingly fine. The two of them began a fierce fight. After a while, the six-horned sea serpent man coughed up blood, not from being injured but from rage. Wilde was fighting like an idiot thinking only of how to attack without caring about being struck. He had no variations at all. The six-horned sea serpent man had never encountered such a fighting style. And worst of all, Wilde's physical body was even stronger than his. His injuries simply automatically healed. 
The reason the six-horned sea serpent man had coughed up blood in particular was because after one exchange, Wilde had taken out something and popped it into his mouth. He had seen it clearly. That was a peak 12th rank magical beast that had been compressed by spatial laws. Wilde had actually gotten hungry and was really viewing him as food. Fuck you all. You bastards conned me. The six-horned sea serpent man refused to keep fighting. He ran back toward Long Chen's battlefield, cursing Dong Fang Yuyang and the others. At first, he had thought that they weren't that bad, helping him hold back Long Chen while he vented his rage from Long Chen's dragon might. However, there was actually someone even more terrifying in the dragon blood legion, a complete idiot who couldn't be reasoned with. The six-horned sea serpent man felt used. His bone trident went smashing for Kun Pengzi. Shocked. Kun Pengzi's hasty block resulted in him coughing up blood. Have you gone crazy? Raged Kun Pengzi. You dare to curse me. I'll kill Hei. The six-horned sea serpent man was about to attack Kun Pengzi again when Wilde caught up to him. Once more smashing with his club and sending him flying. At this moment, the other sea demons charged forward in a wave. Seeing their leader at a disadvantage. They were no longer content to keep watching. Those sea demons collapsed on Wild, Kun Pengzi, and Long Chen. Some of them even went after Dong Fang Yuyang, Tian Zizi, and Shai Ling Feng. The battlefield was submerged by their giant army, throwing everything into chaos. What is going on? Hu Jinying and the others were simply dumbfounded. They didn't even know how to react to such a twist. You water-headed idiots. Why are you attacking us? Cursed Shai Ling Feng. Immediately, a mass of sea demons attacked him from every direction. It seemed that they didn't like being called waterheads. There's a chance. As the battlefield was thrown into chaos, Long Chen's eyes suddenly brightened. Forcing back Dong Fang Yuyang, he turned into a bolt of lightning, charging through the sea demons toward Shai Ling Feng. Chapter 2197 Stone Emperor. Blood Emperor Shai Ling Feng was besieged by the sea demons and he was infuriated that they were attacking him. He furiously exchanged a head-on clash with one of the sea demon's five top experts who had awakened heaven's soul manifestations. The result was that they both retreated. Watch out, warned Kun Pengzi. He had noticed Long Chen silently appear behind Shai Ling Feng. He wanted to go help, but he was blocked by the sea demons. He didn't really care about Shai Ling Feng. They were simply joining hands against a common enemy. But since the enemy of my enemy is my friend, he worried about how to handle Long Chen without Shai Ling Feng in the picture. Shai Ling Feng turned around thanks to Kun Pengzi's warning. He only managed to see Long Chen smile coldly at him and slash Evil Moon down. Shai Ling Feng went all out defending, only to have both arms break from Long Chen's saber. At the same time, Long Chen stamped his foot into Shai Ling Feng's chest and brought him flying through the air blasting through any sea demons in their way. Shai Ling Feng roared, trying to struggle, but Long Chen's foot was in his chest and he had no arms to fight with. Long Chen was bringing Shai Ling Feng outside the army of sea demons, causing Kun Pengzi and the others' expressions to completely change. They immediately tried to go save him. Facing Long Chen alone, Shai Ling Feng would probably only be able to last a few exchanges. Lightning wings appeared on Long Chen's back increasing his speed. He quickly charged out of the sea demons and slammed Shai Ling Feng into the ground. Upon contact with the ground, his arms quickly regrew. However, just at that moment, Evil Moon slashed through his neck, sending his head flying. Long Chen caught Shai Ling Feng's head. For a moment, everyone was simply stunned. The stone races experts paused midway before rushing over. Power gathered in Long Chen's palm. That explosive power would make Shai Ling Feng's head explode with just a thought. Long Chen, don't. Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuayu cried out at almost the same time. Hu Jin Ying's expression was also nervous. She wanted to say something, but the old man shook his head, not letting her waste the effort. Long Chen, I don't believe you dare to kill me, even with just his head. With his life in Long Chen's hands, Shai Ling Feng was curiously confident. Oh. Long Chen raised Shai Ling Feng's head to eye level. If you kill me, my stone race's ancestral heroic spirit, Shai Chang Sheng, will appear. I've awakened a heaven soul manifestation and have linked up with his ancestral spirit. If I die, 
He will manifest here and slaughter all of you. None of you can stop him. He, that's why I can kill you. But you can't kill me. Are you angry? Depressed? Ha 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 ha. Shai Ling Feng laughed. Long Chen, he's telling the truth. If you kill him, Shai Chang Sheng's heroic spirit will appear. No one is capable of stopping him. But even though you can't kill him, you can imprison him, said Bidang Rushuang. Long Chen smiled to Bidang Rushuang in thanks. Bidang Rushuang relaxed, only for her heart to turn cold in the next instant. Long Chen said, I don't know if you've heard this but, in this world, there is nothing that I, Long Chen, do not dare do. Long Chen squeezed his hand, and Shai Ling Feng's head exploded. Everything went deathly silent. Even the army of sea demons stopped and rushed over to the side of the six-horned sea serpent man. Count yourself vicious. Little fellow, if you don't die today, we'll settle this debt in the future. The six-horned sea serpent man was also seemingly affected and brought the sea demon army running away. This bastard really caused a calamity. Who can stop the stone emperor's heroic spirit? Hu Jin Ying began to panic. At the spot where Shai Ling Feng's head was, a golden rune floated. That golden rune began to tremble with a terrifying might. It's over. Long Chen has gone crazy. No one can save him. Bidang Rushuang held her head helplessly. Long Chen suddenly vanished. A moment later, a black bolt of lightning slashed down on a distant battlefield. What? He wants to kill Shu Aluacha as well. Shu Aluacha and Mo Nian were in an intense fight when Long Chen suddenly arrived. Her expression completely changed. She had seen what he had just done and knew he was crazy. Having killed Shai Ling Feng, he would have no misjivings about killing her. Hence, her manifestation trembled, and the meteor hammer suddenly whipped through the air at him. Boom. Long Chen's saber slashed onto the meteor hammer, causing sparks to fly. But Shu Aluacha's giant figure had vanished. Want to run? Keep dreaming. Mo Nian sneered and suddenly raised his bow. His bow began to grow larger and larger until it entered his manifestation. The two people in his manifestation worked together, one holding the bow and one pulling back the string. An arrow flew out, crashing through the void. As a result, a large figure appeared out of the collapsed space. She was covered in blood, her hair disheveled. She had summoned a blood shield just now, but it had been broken by Mo Nian's arrow. Shu Aluacha's figure had only just appeared when Long Chen sent Evil Moon slashing toward her head. Her head flew into the air. Mo Nian's bow was drawn, but he hesitated. Mo Nian, as a man, you have to settle debts of gratitude and enmity. Don't forget why you cultivate, shouted Long Chen. He knew that Mo Nian had misjivings about the Blood Emperor appearing. That would also further implicate Long Chen. But Long Chen wasn't worried about this. Mo Nian took a deep breath and unleashed his arrow. No. Shu Aluacha's head exploded. The daughter of the Blood Emperor was dead, and a rune appeared where her head had been. The two runes rumbled. A frightening killing intent burst out of them. All the experts present suddenly felt a divine pressure on them, one that made them feel an urge to prostrate themselves. Two figures appeared at almost the same time. The Stone Races and the Shu E family's experts all kowtowed toward them. Stone Emperor Blood Emperor they piously kowtowed, not daring to raise their heads. The Stone Emperor was a giant. The Blood Emperor wore a golden crown. Both of them emitted a terrifying pressure. The pressure of emperors. They were identical to the figures within Shai Lingfeng and Shu Aluacha's manifestations. The two of them did not possess physical bodies. They were simply ancient heroic spirits who had been prayed to and offered sacrifices by their people allowing them to maintain the slightest bit of their soul essence to maintain their descendants' karmic luck. However, when their heirs died, their soul essence appeared. After awakening heaven's soul manifestations, their soul essence had become linked to their descendants, and as a result, after their descendants died, their soul essence would also quickly dissipate. Before all their soul essence was gone, they would have a chance to unleash their power in a furious reprisal for the deaths of their descendants. You dared to kill my descendant. You have some gods. I will kill you today. Using your blood and soul to curse everyone related to you. Shai Chang Shen reached out a giant hand at Long Chen. He clearly knew who had killed Shai Ling Feng. My guts have always been big. As for killing me, does a trace of soul essence really dare to say such big words? 
Long Chen sneered, and a giant lightning portal appeared behind him. Lightning gushed out of it, and the Drake King appeared. Long Chen, you've gotten stronger once more. The spatial channel is finally stable enough for my true body to appear. That arrogant little bastard from last time. I'll kill him with one swat. The Drake King began to roar. His voice resounded through the air like thunder. That little bastard is nothing. He's just a small fish now. The big fish is right there. Can you kill him? Long Chen pointed to Shai Changsheng. Shai Changsheng looked at the Silver Drake King and disdainfully said, Nothing more than a spirit of a paragon art. I'll erase you from this world. He spread his hands, and divine light shone down, eclipsing the sun. You dare to look down on me. The Drake King roared and sent his tail whipping toward him. Boom. Shai Changsheng's hand slammed into the Drake King's tail. Lighting crashed in every direction. Long Chen was shocked to see the Drake King's tail explode upon contact with Shai Changsheng's palm. BoomNavaloon.com on the other side. Mo Nian had used some secret art to retreat from the Blood Emperor, but he was coughing up blood. Mo Nian, get over here. Long Chen sent a lightning chain that pulled Mo Nian into the Sea of Lightning. The lighting could exhaust the power of these ancestral spirits rapidly, making them dissipate sooner. He had no intention of defeating these two emperor spirits. Those were existences that had challenged the sovereigns. Long Chen wasn't so conceited. He just wanted to exhaust their energy and have them naturally dissipate. So his only goal was stalling. Drake King, I'll give you all my thunder force. You have to stall them. Long Chen transmitted Li Long's divine lightning energy to the Silver Drake King. All right. The Drake King was quite loyal. And even facing two terrifying emperor spirits, it didn't retreat. With the support of Li Long's energy, it began to grow and grow. At the same time, more lightning drakes came flying out of the channel. Using my status as ruler of the lightning domain, I'll have a fight with you too. The Drake King roared, bringing forth all the lightning domain's power to the Martial Heaven Continent. Chapter 2198 The Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet The glow of a firefly dares to compete with the moon. Shai Changsheng sneered and collapsed his hands together. A light sword shot out of his forehead, and at that moment, both Long Chen and Mo Nian felt an intense feeling of mortal danger. Boom. The Silver Drake roared and clawed the light sword, but its claw exploded, not even close to matching it. The light sword continued toward Long Chen and Mo Nian. Long Chen had no other choice but to block with Evil Moon. However, when the light sword slammed into Evil Moon, he felt like his body was about to be torn apart. Some kind of energy invaded his body, and his arms almost exploded turning into lumps of flesh. What kind of power is this? Long Chen cried out. This is the power of the heroic spirit. It is similar to the faith energy of gods. After being worshipped by the stone race for so long, it has formed a kind of mental energy. Watch out. Mo Nian suddenly shot out golden arrows. The blood emperor had also attacked, waving his hand. Divine swords rained down on the two of them. Mo Nian's arrows might be able to suppress Shu Aluacha but now his attack seemed incredibly weak in front of the Blood Emperor. Long Chen knew that Mo Nian's physical body wasn't strong, so he immediately stood in front of him. Long Chen began to slash the divine swords coming at him, but after just a dozen, he felt his arms growing numb. The energy within the light swords was just too powerful. Split the heavens eight. Long Chen finally had a chance to attack and sent Evil Moon slashing toward the Blood Emperor. A giant saber image tore through the Blood Emperor, delighting Long Chen, but his smile quickly vanished. After the saber image passed through the Blood Emperor, the Blood Emperor was completely unharmed. No need to waste the effort. They are ancient heroic spirits, not true bodies. They can't be injured unless you also have a divine item containing faith energy. My five element sun hunting bow possesses faith energy, but they aren't giving me a chance to attack, shouted Mo Nian. He was constantly shooting. Suddenly, his bow grew and the bowstring blocked the Stone Emperor's attack. Although the Stone Emperor's attack bounced off, Mo Nian almost died from the impact. Long Chen, thanks for letting me man up. Sorry for implicating you, sighed Mo Nian. What are you saying? Even if you didn't kill Shu Aluacha, would you watch as I was killed by the Stone Emperor? Stop talking and focus on holding on, said Long Chen angrily. 
Under the torrent of attacks from two emperors, every breath felt as long as a year. They were barely hanging on. At this moment, Wilde charged toward the Stone Emperor, smashing his club at the Stone Emperor's head. However, Wilde passed straight through his body, unable to injure him. Wilde, it's useless shouted Long Chen. Then I can help you block. Wilde actually appeared in front of a light sword slashing toward Long Chen. He used his own body to take it. Don't, shouted Long Chen. But it was too late. The light sword pierced through Wilde's chest. Even Wilde's powerful body was unable to resist an emperor's attack. Brother Long, Wilde is too dumb to do anything else. But taking a sword for you is very easy. Wilde still smiled foolishly even with blood dyeing his body. He seemed particularly happy to have helped Long Chen. Boss, I'm here too. Guo Ran shot over, his golden saber slashing onto one of the Blood Emperor's attacks. As a result, he was smacked straight into the ground. However, Guo Ran flew back quickly and continued to block some attacks for Long Chen. He was also unable to threaten an emperor in the slightest, but his goal was the same as Wild. On the surface, Guo Ran seemed fine in his armor. But in reality, his armor was unable to fully insulate him from the power of these emperors. Inside his armor, he was bleeding from his seven orifices but was still bitterly enduring. Suddenly, a beautiful streak of sword chi soared into the sky and slashed toward the blood emperor. The blood emperor had been ignoring everyone's attacks. But when Yu Zifeng's sword slashed toward him, he actually dodged it. He's afraid of Yu Zifeng's sword chi exclaimed Long Chen. Wild. Guo Ran. Work together to support Zifeng. Mo Nian, get ready to shoot. Long Chen pressed a palm against Mo Nian's back, sending his spiritual Yuan gushing into Mo Nian's body. Mo Nian immediately understood. Yu Zifeng's sword Dao lay above the laws of this world and was able to threaten the Blood Emperor. This was their best chance to counterattack. However, Yu Zifeng was a sword cultivator, and his physical body was weak. He definitely couldn't endure an attack from the Blood Emperor. Within Mo Nian's manifestation, the two figures pressed a hand against Mo Nian's back. The five element sun hunting bow blazed with light. Space twisted, and murmuring began to resound throughout the air. This murmuring included prayers, blessings, longing, reverence, and gratitude. This was the mental energy accumulated by Mo Gate's worship toward their ancestors. Mo Nian was using his ancestral power. An arrow left his bow. It was like a bolt of lightning, streaking toward the Blood Emperor. Just as wild, Guo Ran, and Yu Zifeng drew the Blood Emperor's attention. This arrow arrived in front of him. The Blood Emperor smashed a fist forward, and a brilliant explosion lit up the sky. However, Long Chen and Mo Nian's hearts turned cold. The Blood Emperor still remained. How could this be? Mo Nian's expression was incredibly ugly. It's fine. Even if we didn't kill him, we have to have exhausted his mental energy. We still have a chance, said Long Chen. Zifeng, get out of here. We'll be enough. Although Yu Zifeng was the only one here capable of threatening the two emperors, the two emperors had sensed his existence and would not allow him to get close. If he tried to force it, he might be instantly killed. Just as Long Chen and the others were in a bitter battle, there was an even more terrifying battle in the distance. A giant stone tablet appeared in the sky. The stone tablet was so huge that the top of it seemed to be resting amongst the stars. This giant tablet was the Martial Heaven Alliance's greatest trump card, the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet. This was the divine item created on the day of the Martial Heaven Alliance's founding. It was where the Martial Heaven Alliance's faith gathered the divine item that terrified the corrupt path the most. This divine item was full of energy and was covered in names, which represented some supreme experts of the Martial Heaven Alliance. They had died in battles against the corrupt path and had had their names recorded here so that their descendants would remember their accomplishments. However, not every name carved into the tablet died in battle. Some of them had carved their names into the tablet just before they died leaving all the energy they had left in the tablet. After countless years, countless experts had poured their life's power into the tablet. As for how much power had been accumulated, no one knew. All people knew was that this was the most terrifying divine item of the Martial Heaven Alliance, the supreme martial weapon that intimidated the corrupt path. When Kujin Ying had seen Long Chen in danger, 
she had stopped caring about anything else. Along with the four grand elders, she had summoned the martial heaven virtue tablet. Even Kujining did not have absolute authority over this divine item. It also required the approval of the four grand elders. Unless things reached a point where there was absolutely no other choice, the martial heaven virtue tablet could not be used. That was a rule created with its creation and the founding of the alliance. The energy accumulated within the tablet could only be used at a critical juncture dictating the survival of the very righteous path. Every bit of energy stored inside this divine item could only be used once. Every bit that was used up would be gone forever. That energy was the result of countless ancestors pouring their remaining life into it before their deaths. Their ancestors had entrusted this to them, so they couldn't use it randomly. Although this was not truly a time where the righteous path was about to be destroyed, Long Chen was the greatest hope of the righteous path. If he died, it would be a huge blow to the righteous path. Using the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet now was definitely correct. As soon as the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet appeared, Zi Wentian called back the corrupt god Ancient Tower, sending it toward the tablet. You think you can save Long Chen? Keep dreaming. The corrupt path's experts knelt and began to chant piously, causing the corrupt god Ancient Tower to blaze with an evil light. That evil light stretched toward the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet. Boom. That evil light exploded on contact with the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet. It was unable to shake it in the slightest. At this moment, a golden furnace appeared, and a majestic aura burst out of it. Yu Ziaoyan had taken out the Danite Furnace, the Xuan Beast's Pen Wanli, the Ancient Family Alliance's Dilong, the Ancient Race's Long Jun Kang, and the Blood Kill Hall's Zhang Ziyang also took out their own divine items. The Dongfang family's head shouted. Long Chen colluded with the original devil race and guided the Qi flow stream here to interfere with the Sovereign Seal, throwing the entire Martial Heaven continent into danger. He must be executed. The Martial Heaven Alliance refuses to see the truth. So don't blame us for being ruthless. A tiny golden bell appeared in his hand. It rapidly grew larger, and as it did, divine music rang out. The center of the bell is actually the heavenly music stone exclaimed the experts that had attended the gathering of past and present heroes. This is another priceless treasure of the Dongfang family, the heavenly soul bell. It said its power is even above the astral ancient castle. Hu Jinying was fully infuriated. Fuck your dog shit excuses. Everyone can clearly see what kind of person Long Chen is. Even if you have to slander him, can't you think of a better excuse? How does destroying the martial heaven continent benefit him? Since you've shown your true shameless faces, let's just fight to the end. Even the Dongfang family's people had thrown their support to Pill Valley's story about Long Chen being an irredeemable villain. There was no need for any further explanations then. People faking sleep could never be awoken no matter how you shouted into their ears. The Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet unleashed a wave of divine light. Countless different auras existed within it, and they ignited. Unleashing a wave of power that smashed against the many divine items on the other side. Rumbling shook the world, and the entire Martial Heaven continent shook. Chapter 2199 Betrayal Kujining Your selfishness has led you to betray the will of the heavens. Do you think that on your own, you can fight against the rest of the world? Sneered the Dongfang family's head. They had multiple powerful divine items on their side. However, the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet was slowly pressing forward, forcing them all back. The ground constantly shook and exploded, unleashing huge waves that filled the sky. The Martial Heaven Alliance really lives up to being the number one alliance. Even though they have declined to the point of fracturing, their foundation still remains. The Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet was still pushing forward against so many powerful divine items. That sight was incomparably shocking. Kujining. You're using the power that the ancestors of the Martial Heaven Alliance left behind for fighting amongst ourselves instead of the incoming powerful enemies. If the ancestors were to learn of this, they definitely wouldn't be able to rest in peace. You are the most muddle-hated leader throughout the history of the Martial Heaven Alliance. You've betrayed the hopes of everyone before you, said the Dongfang family's head righteously. Jiangdying, I can't endure it any longer. I'll kill him said the old man suddenly. No, 
I need you to help me control the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet. If you run off, how am I supposed to handle them? Shouted Ku Jinying. At this moment, the old man had one hand pressed against Ku Jinying's back, helping her control the tablet. However, his other hand was now on the hilt of the Heaven Splitting Blade. Ku Jinying knew that if the old man went, he would definitely disregard his own life just to kill the shameless Dongfang family head. She understood his temper too well. What? Are you going to ignore my orders? Have you forgotten what you promised me? Demanded Ku Jinying. The old man clenched his teeth and slowly released the hilt of his blade. He pointed at the Dongfang family head, indicating for the latter to just wait until he killed him. Ku Jinying, don't try to scare us. The Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet isn't something someone like you can control. You can't unleash its true power. The Martial Heaven Alliance is no longer complete, and without obtaining 80% support of the Alliance, it's impossible to use its full power. Adding on all your current members, you only have 50%. This is the result of your failure as a leader. Shouldn't you hurry up and admit your mistakes? Sneered Yu Ziaoyan. The divine mark on Yu Ziaoyan's forehead lit up. The Danite furnace unleashed a ringing sound as it fought back against the tablet. This is the result of your schemes. You fractured the Martial Heaven Alliance just for today? Yu Ziaoyan. You really scheme deeply. Shouted Ku Jinying angrily. You can't blame anyone else for your own failures. Perhaps a new alliance head was needed a long time ago. Everyone, what are you still waiting for? Yu Ziaoyan turned to Pen Wanli and the others. Pen Wanli and the others also took a deep breath and unleashed all their power, causing the light of their divine items to grow more intense. The Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet was no longer able to continue pressing forward. It began to shake. Ku Jinying and the four Grand Elders started to feel the pressure. Support the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet. Yi Lingxin took the lead and extended her hands. Light shot out of the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet, forming a bridge for her spiritual yuan to enter it. The hundreds of thousands of experts from the Martial Heaven Alliance took action, sending their energy into the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet. Its light grew even more radiant, but against so many powerful divine items. It was still shaking. Its divine light seemed to be on the verge of crumbling. It's no good. We are unable to draw out the full power of the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet. It's on the verge of breaking. Ku Jinying turned pale. Don't worry. If the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet breaks, I'll bring down a few of them to accompany it. Comforted the old man. Killing intent raging in his eyes. The neutral experts were all panicking inside. As these two sides clashed intensely. They could only watch. At this time, no matter who they helped, the other side would view them as their mortal enemy. They had an urge to try mediating things, but this was no ordinary fight. There was no misunderstanding between the two sides. Instead, it was hate and a vow to not stop until death. Daoist Heavenly Feather. Can you stop this battle? Someone turned to Daoist Heavenly Feather, who had the highest seniority. Perhaps she was the only one with the power to stop this battle. Yes, Daoist Heavenly Feather. We're all cultivators of the Martial Heaven Continent. Why must we fight to the point of killing ourselves? The sea demons have stepped foot onto the continent, and the Dark Era is coming. Every person is an important resource for the upcoming battles. There's no need to exhaust ourselves against each other, said someone else with a begging tone. However, Daoist Heavenly Feather shook her head. I understand your words, but the people on the battlefield also understand them as well. Because their goals are different, there's no way for them to communicate. In this world, not all things can be settled with reason. Although everyone has said that martial power cannot resolve problems, sometimes martial power is the only choice. Long Chen is that kind of person. I'm sure everyone has seen the truth, but there are still people slandering him. Some people just don't have a conscience. So what can I do about it? Daoist Heavenly Feather. Are you really saying that Long Chen is being set up? Asked one person probingly. The truth is no longer important. They want to kill Long Chen. And Long Chen wants to kill them. This is the result that they want. Have you not seen that Long Chen simply acts according to his own heart and doesn't bother explaining himself? What he wants now is to kill all his enemies. Both sides wish to kill the other, so no one can advise them. Their goals are clear. 
Even a god could not change Long Chen's determination. Do you think my words would change the mind of someone who dares to kill the heirs of emperors? Just keep watching. Perhaps this is fate. If the Martial Heaven Continent's core forces are too injured for the upcoming battles and break, then all we can say is that the continent's destiny has come to an end, said Daoist Heavenly Feather lightly. Seeing the intense battle being fought, everyone felt afraid. If the world was destroyed, none of them would survive. Bidang Rushuang clenched her fists, struggling over whether or not to help Long Chen. She had to fight for her family. If she helped him, she would be pulling her family onto Long Chen's side. Bidang Rushuang looked at Nangong Zuayu. Although Nangong Zuayu's expression was still calm, Bidang Rushuang could see that she was struggling as well. Kingsuan Use the Brahma Divine Diagram to smash apart the Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet, shouted Yu Ziaoyan suddenly. The Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet was rumbling, suppressed by the power of so many divine items. Even with the support of all the Martial Heaven Alliance's experts, it was still at a clear disadvantage. Everyone hastily turned to the Pill Fairy. After fighting with Long Chen, the Pill Fairy had not made another move. She had just watched seeming to be thinking about something, being summoned by Yu Ziaoyan. She turned around, her divine halo lit up, don't move, out of nowhere, a foot-long dagger pressed against her snow-white neck, a cloaked maiden appeared beside the pill fairy, that figure was small and slender, but her appearance stunned everyone, Dong Mingyu, what are you doing, raged Zhang Ziyang, this maiden was the blood kill hall's divine daughter, Dong Mingyu. She was the Blood Kill Hall's strongest assassin, an existence above all other assassins. Dong Mingyu was someone from the Blood Kill Hall, and the Blood Kill Hall was allied with them. But now Dong Mingyu was pressing her dagger against the Pill Fairy's neck. Everyone simply stared at her in dumbfounded silence. They were unable to wrap their heads around this reality. Don't move. Dong Mingyu's dagger suddenly pressed into the Pill Fairy's neck, leaving a small cut. Fresh blood slowly dripped down the dagger. I am also a divine daughter. Your divine energy protection is useless against me. All I need to do is press down slightly and your head will fall. So don't try anything funny. Otherwise, I'll really be forced to kill you. Dong Mingyu also had a divine halo behind her head. However, Dong Mingyu's aura was non-existent. It was impossible to sense. The only thing that revealed her existence was their sight. But without that, no one would believe that someone was there. Why? Demanded the pill fairy. She didn't dare to move. For a certain person. Dong Mingyu looked toward Long Chen. She smiled faintly. All disciples of the Blood Kill Hall. Hear my orders. Kill the disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Shouted Zhang Ziyang. However. Even after a few seconds. Not one person responded to him. No need to shout again. I've sent those people to the killing god let alone them, even the killing god statue has been smashed apart, have you not noticed, the divine light of your killing god imperial decree already dissipated, said Dong Mingyu indifferently, Zhang Ziyang looked at his waist, and his expression completely changed, he shouted, Dong Mingyu, you, you dare to betray the killing god, Dong Mingyu smiled, who cares about this betrayal, my life was given to me by him, he showed me another kind of life, he showed me there is something called kindness in this world. He showed me something known as warmth. As for the killing god, he simply uses us as tools for killing and gathering faith energy. He didn't give me anything. He was using me, while I also thirsted for greater power. So it wasn't a betrayal. It was a mutually beneficial arrangement. I worked hard at my cultivation so that one day I could repay him. Who is he? Roared Zhang Ziyang. Do you need to ask? He is Long Chen. Dong Mingyu suddenly pulled back her hood, revealing a young face that caused startled cries to ring out amongst the crowd. Chapter 2200 Helpers Take Action Dong Mingyu looked to be 13 or 14 years old. Her pretty face still had a trace of youth's tenderness. She looked like a beautiful sprite, which made people instinctively feel an urge to protect her. However, this seemingly innocent-looking girl was actually the Blood Kill Hall's most terrifying assassin, the divine daughter Dong Mingyu. People were simply dumbfounded, not daring to believe their eyes. Furthermore, Dong Mingyu said that the person that had given her her life was Long Chen, 
Although people had started to have suspicions a bit before, hearing this from her was shocking. This change was shockingly sudden. The Bloodkill Hall's divine daughter had actually betrayed the Bloodkill Hall and taken action at this critical juncture. Dong Mingyu cut her dagger across the pill fairy's forehead. Startled cries rang out as people thought that Dong Mingyu was going to kill the pill fairy. However, Dong Mingyu's dagger merely cut the pill fairy's skin without going deeper. A black rune appeared on the pill fairy's forehead and instantly spread throughout her face. I've sealed your Yuan spirit. I won't kill you because he also has never truly tried to kill you. I'll spare your life. But if you try to use the power of your Yuan spirit, my killing god divine seal will shatter your Yuan spirit. At that time, you can't blame me. After placing her seal, Dong Mingyu slowly retracted her dagger. The pill fairy glared at Dong Mingyu. You betrayed your god. Do you know the consequences? Dong Mingyu had taken a few steps away from her, but she suddenly turned back and smiled at the pill fairy. Of course I know. Back in the day, he took a poison arrow to the heart and still didn't kill me. From that time, my life was no longer my own. I'm willing to accept all my sins for him. Dong Mingyu took another step and vanished. When she reappeared, she was in front of the Blood Emperor. The figure of the Killing God appeared within her manifestation, and her dagger blocked the Blood Emperor's attacks. Big Brother Long Chen, do you still remember me? Dong Mingyu looked at Long Chen with her innocent eyes, full of warmth. You, Long Chen didn't even notice what had been happening outside his battle with the Emperors. He had been completely focused. Otherwise, he would have died. Hence, for a girl to suddenly charge over and block the Blood Emperor made him jump. Examining her closely, he was lost. He didn't know this person, but there was something familiar about this girl's eyes. Big Brother, have you forgotten? In the Eastern Wastelands King's House City, there was a bloody battle fought in the streets. There was a girl holding a doll crying, said Dong Mingyu. It's you. But no, how could you have grown so much? Long Chen immediately thought of that moment. At that time, he had known that the girl had been part of the assassins but hadn't killed her. He had allowed her concealed weapon to stab into his heart and let her go. Zi Yan had been present at that time, and it was precisely because of that act of mercy that she had started feeling well toward him. However, Dong Mingyu's age didn't match the time that had passed. She should be around the same age as Long Chen's little sister, Long Xiaoyu. She should be 10 years old. I was rewarded for injuring you at that time. I underwent the divine ceremony, and my life completely changed. I was chosen by the god to become his divine daughter. After that, I entered the killing god's space. 10 years passed inside, but only one year passed in the outside world. I was 4 when I entered the killing god's space and I was 14 years old when I exited. Ever since I left, my life, my face, my body, they've been frozen forever. After that, I did my best to cultivate so that I could help you. Big Brother Long Chen, I'm very happy today. Dong Mingyu smiled at Long Chen. That smile was very naive and brilliant. Boom. Without even turning away from him, Dong Mingyu's dagger stabbed behind her. The image of the killing god within her manifestation exploded, and a wave of divine light blew away the blood emperor's attacks. With her god energy, Dong Mingyu was actually able to block the blood emperor's attacks. Long Chen was filled with various emotions. He hadn't expected that little bit of kindness from back then to save him now. Big brother Long Chen, I'll block the blood emperor. You and the others can handle the stone emperor. I have the killing god's energy protecting me which is also a form of faith energy. The Blood Emperor can't do anything to me, said Dong Mingyu. Long Chen nodded. All right, be careful. At this time, there was no need to say thanks. Wielding Evil Moon, Long Chen shot toward the Stone Emperor. Wild and Mo Nian were covered in blood, while Guo Ran was constantly coughing up blood inside his armor. After blocking so many attacks, the runes carved into his armor were starting to break causing his defensive power to drop. Wild was charging in front of Mo Nian over and over again to take the attacks. He looked terrible. Mo Nian was also in a wretched state, and his manifestation was starting to dim. The Stone Emperor's heroic spirit was just too terrifying. When Long Chen joined them, he took the vanguard position. 
giving the other three some time to breathe. Fuck. Why hasn't this heroic spirit dissipated yet? Cursed Guo Ran. He needs to burn up all his faith energy to dissipate. But once all his faith energy is exhausted, then the stone race will forever fall and probably never achieve their past glory. They might even be destroyed from burning up all their karmic luck. That's why both heroic spirits are trying to kill us using the least amount of power, to conserve their faith energy and karmic luck for their descendants, said Mo Nian. Boom. Long Chen's saber slammed into Shai Chang Sheng's attack, and he was forced back. Shai Chang Sheng extended a hand toward him but was blocked by the Drake King's claw. The Drake King's claw crumbled, but he managed to block it. If it weren't for the Drake King, they would have long since been killed. The Drake King had summoned a giant lightning sea and used all the lightning domain's power to fight. The lightning sea inhibited the movements of the two heroic spirits. Within it, their power was lowered. Otherwise, even though the four of them were working together, they wouldn't be able to hold out against these existences which had shaken the cultivation world before. Even if they were just two heroic spirits, they were incredibly powerful. Drake King, are you alright? Asked Long Chen. I'm fine, but the bad news is that these constant injuries are rapidly reducing the lightning domain's energy. I don't know how much longer I can last, answered the Drake King. All the lightning drakes within the lightning field had transformed into divine runes supporting the Drake King. Despite that, every collision caused its body to explode. Although it could immediately condense a new body, the lightning domain's energy was not limitless. Once too much of its energy was used up, its combat power would drop. Kill. Just as Ku Jinying was fighting against the leaders of the various large powers, and Long Chen was fighting against the heroic spirits of past emperors, Tian Zizi, Kun Pengzi, and Dong Fang Yuyang charged toward the Dragon Blood Legion. At the same time, the armies of the Corrupt Path, the Ancient Races, the Ancient Family Alliance, the Stone Race, the Xuan Beasts, Pill Valley, and the other powers also attacked. Both the members of the current generation and the monsters of the elder generation. They had all witnessed just how powerful the Dragonblood Legion was. This time, they had to use their full force and bring the Dragonblood Legion down in one thunderous clash. That was the only way to reduce their casualties. Are you going? Bidang Rushuang looked at the distant Nangong Zuayu, and for the first time, took the initiative to speak to her spiritually. She wanted to see what Nangong Zuayu thought. Yes, all we need to do is block one, not kill them. The state of the continent is still unclear. We need dependability over all else. I'll block Dong Fang Yuyang. You block Kun Pengzi. After receiving Bidang Rushuang's message, Nangong Zuayu didn't hesitate any longer. A water current appeared around her, and she vanished. Boom. The space in front of Dong Fang Yuyang suddenly exploded, with water chi bursting out. A silver waterfall crashed down from the heavens. In front of the waterfall was a peerlessly beautiful woman surrounded by mist and flying water droplets. Fairy Zuayu, what do you think you're doing? Dong Fang Yuyang's expression changed. Mr. Dong Fang, the cycle of karma includes all things within this world. For you to target Long Chen like this, are you really not afraid of reaping bad karma? Asked Nangong Zuayu. Fairy Zuayu. Do you wish to help Long Chen? Dong Fang Yuyang's expression was dark with fury. He was quite confident in his learning and talent. His cultivation base was also unrivaled. Hence, he was confident in being able to move any woman's heart. But he had run into a setback when it came to Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang. During the gathering of past and present heroes, Long Chen had just met them and they already began to circle around him. Most hateful of all. The two of them were clearly enemies, but just for Long Chen, they acted fine and at peace. He was actually full of hatred over that matter inside. Long Chen might not have targeted him specifically, but due to Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang, he felt a profound feeling of defeat. Long Chen had beaten him in the area he was most confident in. For Nangong Zuayu to actually stand against him now and become enemies with all the various large powers just because of Long Chen. The flames of jealousy were fanned within his heart. Since you refuse to differentiate between right and wrong, don't blame me. Dong Fang Yuyang roared. He directly sent the astral ancient castle smashing toward Nangong Zuayu. 
Not differentiating between right and wrong is at least better than intentionally inverting right and wrong. Right? There's no need to say any more. I will not be letting you pass. Nangong Zuiyu formed a hand seal. The waterfall behind her exploded into a giant water dragon. Boom. The water dragon crashed against the castle. Waves of water exploded through the air. Four dragons converge. Waves swallow the heavens. Nangong Zuiyu formed more hand seals. And a giant sea condensed in the surrounding space. Four water dragons shot toward Dongfang Yuiyang along with giant waves. At this moment, Bidang Rushuang had also started hunting down Kun Pengzi, her bow blazing with divine light. Moreover, her body was enveloped by divine flames, making her look like a war goddess. Her bow quivered, and arrows rained down upon Kun Pengzi. Dongfang Yuiyang and Kun Pengzi had been blocked. Meanwhile, Tian Zizi was flying over with his soul summoning banner when a zither rang through the air, causing his expression to change. An ancient zither appeared in the sky, along with a woman sitting calmly. Her hands brushed across her zither as she looked at Tian Zizi. 